All right, welcome people to the Military Guna channel. Um, definitely we have JD here with us from Iron Max in Football. Who are you, bro? <laughs> Who are you? Give um, us I'm here, my brother. I am here, just relaxing, you know? So, people, you guys know we always <laughs> giving you good content. <laughs> We're not here to mention who is credible for who is now. We're here to talk about football. No, <laughs> yeah, this is what's happening now, people. We want to do an analysis of the, the reggae boys, all the reggae boys who have been playing in the championship for, for the, this season. We have one outstanding player in specific. Yes, but he's a potential player, but he has been outstanding this season. It's actually his debutant season. This, is, this has been his debutant season. That is Ivan Tony. Bro, um, broke the goal scoring record this morning. For the championship, 31 goals were never yet. It has never been done before in the history of the competition. And we'll see how that one goes. So, the good thing about it is that he has the Jamaican blood running straight through his veins. What people are speaking about, all the players in the championship, breaking down the analytical aspect of their gameplay throughout the championship, what they have done and how they have contributed to their team in specific. Now, we also have sad news because Ethan Pino has found himself on the injured deck this morning and for me i think that is something really really bad but for a lot of the reggae boy fans who know of their favorite player will be seeing their favorite player because now we have a few players who tentatively will be out for um for this um goal cup period but for now the championship um period season has ended the championship has ended now we can move forward with getting those players all the players who said they are focusing on getting the team at whatever level they can now focus on playing the goal cup. But we'll see how that one goes because we still also have the championship player. But let's move past that. The first player that we want to um, get into is that we want to break down <coughs> and analyze his season so far. Is definitely none other than the man himself, Ethan Pino. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know you guys thought he was going to be attacked. But Ethan Pino is actually the first player we want to look at. Yes, I know that he, he's, he has suffered a... Uh, a slight injury issue were open or really really open that um it's not that serious um what do you think about the, the Ethan Pinnock injury um JD um well we have to really assess it um on a later date mm -hmm. but if he's injured mm -hmm. it's going to be a big issue because I strongly believe that he brought something that no one else out of the entire package of defenders do bring you get me yeah. but obviously it takes over time to really showcase what he's all about yeah but obviously um we know that people don't give you time um in the culture so mm -hmm. people bashed him the first time but i think he would have gradually won over the fans um just to see him so mm -hmm. it's going to be a big injury so we want to hear all the ups up updates on it to see mm -hmm. how long it's going to be and if he's going to miss because it's going to be a big big miss i'm telling you if this is longer than two three months it's going to be a big big miss so i want to really read through it properly to assess mm -hmm. it properly and then we can touch it so i'm going to research it now myself as well yeah yeah so i'm hoping that um this news does not affect um what we have to do in, in future plans because i do think that he's tentatively the best best defender we have on books right now um separate um apart from um Leah Moore. yes we know the 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 capability that Liam, Liam Moore has. But we also can't look past the, one of the, the most the highly rated players in the championship, which is Ethan Pinnock. So we're going to run through Ethan Pinnock and let's see how well Ethan Pinnock stacks up throughout this time period, throughout the season. So Joshua Kidd said, big up, big up Joshua Kidd. Um, were they able to get Max Aaron's of Jamaican passport? <coughs> we're still not sure because there's so much things behind closed doors, so much things happening behind closed doors. And it's difficult to say that Max Aaron's will definitely come to jamaica um news coming out news circling around that he has been contacted but what does contacted real mean because i can can um can send him a, a, a message a dm him and i have contacted him does that mean he replies but guess what i contacted him so it, it, it really boils up <coughs> what the, the old essence because i've been hearing, um, hearing about this idea about contacting um this players have been this player have been contacted that player have been contacted but what does contacted mean? What yeah. in general does contacted mean? Um, I can call anyone and they answer the phone and say no. I don't. And hang up. I, I, I don't know. Them. I don't know if you remembered, um, like in the start, in the early part when we were actually reporting uh, most of these players, mm 
-hmm. you heard that they have an overseas agent yeah that literally reach out to them mm -hmm. well that could be a part of the contacting but that means that's just the, the initial stage where in which people just let you know that you're on the radar and you should expect a call from the JFF or something. Mm -hmm. So we don't know how true it is. We don't know how clear it is. Mm -hmm. So it makes no sense even talking about contact because contacting someone means nothing, to be yeah. honest. Yes. If you're out there scouting him and the guy will get back some valid information, mm -hmm. then I'll be with it. You understand? Know, but yeah. that's what I have to say. I, I have I have DM theory on you already, and <laughs> <laughs> I have the DM theory on you already, and he, he the message was seen. Would I consider that as I contact the theory on you because he saw the message? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, you you did contact him. We can we, we I made contact. I definitely made contact. So um, big up DG and thank you for passing through. Joshua keeps said true. <laughs> See so. Contact is, uh, is, 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 is very, very um, poor. Um, um, <laughs> Love football, eight, uh, eight crunkies. Sentiment FC said, Ray, 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 big up. Better than watching um, Arsenal Football Club. Of, of course, this channel is better than, <laughs> I'm, I'm telling this, far better than watching Arsenal. You, you won't get any form of depression, um, no anxiety, no sweaty palms, none of that. You're just here to enjoy yourself and have a good laugh. Um, what's the name of this app on site? It's Stream your stream your DG. Um, Travis said Jamal low flop today. Yeah, but that's one bad performance, and we can break down into the analytics. We're go we're going to Jamal low, so we'll see how how you would rate um rate his performance on an analytical basis. Yes, he might not score, but we are going to see how we do that. Um, <coughs> Darby are up. Um, Joshua said Jamal. <laughs> uh, Big up Ian for coming in. Um, Andre Gray scored today. Yes, he did score today. Um, he got an assist from, I think it was also someone named um, Emma or something like that. Um, just as I said, was Mason Olgate able to join the Jamaican national team? Um, he would no doubt be our best defender. With the, uh, the only thing I'm hearing in Joshua is contacts. That's all. Contacts, contacts. I'm not sure if it's the military and people coming under fire or something. <laughs> but that's what I'm hearing. Con everyone saying contacts. Um, but we're going to run through that right now. So let's 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 run through Ethan Pinnock season. We want to break down Ethan Pinnock season. So Ethan Pinnock is 27 year old people. So at age 27 for a defender, we can we are potentially looking at two go um, two World Cup um, campaigns with Ethan Pinnock, because if we at at this moment is, is still speak, speaking about Mariapa at age 35, playing at a low as well typically they say, but at age 35. And we want to carry Mario at 835 into the Gold Cup campaign because he's a core player. What about a young player playing at the same level, a possible performing better? Why not the, why not consider the young player playing at, a, a, at, the, at the same level but performing a bit week in, week out at a better level? But the sad news, people for who, who's just coming in. Um definitely Ethan Pinock will be out, he's injured. We'll see how that one goes. We'll give you further updates on that. In particular, so we'll see how that one goes. Maybe you guys might see um someone uploading a video quite soon than later about it. And, but just listen to people for details. It's not about um what you want to hear, but listen to people. You need to listen and listen keenly, people, please. Um Trevor said the JF have said Isaac personally contacted them. He's waiting on the end of the season. Unfortunately, he's injured. No, this is what I don't understand. If Isaac Aiden contacted the JFS. Why would he then want to wait at the end of the season to make a decision? What did he contact them up, contacted them about? What do you think about that, Jenny? Um, as um, what Mo said, said you know, um, it's really confusing because mm. they're using a word that is pretty much over the top. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Because look, if you contact someone, it doesn't necessarily mean it, it, it is progress. The meaning yeah. of contact is mean it, it, it's between. It's a connection. Yeah. So you made a connection, but that doesn't really mean nothing. You just made the connection. So we want to hear the secondary thing after yeah. contacting them, and then we can talk on it. But we just literally, um, we're just so happy for just someone saying something. So we turn someone saying something into news. You understand yeah. me? Which mm -hmm. is, I don't think that that has no weight 
to it. Wait until we hear the secondary fees. So if someone watching this, just let me know what happened after that contact, and then we can discuss into it. But if you're going to talk about contact, contact means nothing. You understand? Okay, so Travis said he's not into, I'm not into analysis. Okay, so well, well, the truth about it, my channel is about analysis. We don't judge player based off, um, we see that he didn't score a goal or he didn't assist. We judge player based off performance. Performance is broken down into analysis. So that is why an analysis is important. That is the reason why I do analysis. Fox. That's the reason why I do analysis, bro. Um. So, um... <laughs> Joshua said, Lord of mercy. <laughs> Bailey game, um, game start. Oh, Bailey start. You have me big up, you have me. So, as I said, let's get back to um, Ethan Pino. Um, so, this is in particular for the championship. I'm going to highlight the championship. He did play, play a few more, a few more cup competition like FA Cup and um, EFL Cup. So, we'll, we'll also look into that as well and see how well he stacks up. So let's we we're going to do an, the two lesser cup, cup games, then we move on to then we move up on to the 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 bigger the, the bigger to, um, tournament which is the championship. Um so so for the FA Cup, um he played two games, right? Mm -hmm. As you guys can see, Rottenham and also Leicester City. So he had a good game in both of them relatively. Played completed 90 minutes on all of them. Well, this doesn't don't relatively give, give you a lot of information on it. So I'm just going to go back into the championship season because in general, that is not actually what we want to talk about. But as I said, people, um, it is important for us to keep up the day to the players. And something that I, I, I realize that speaking to other people, other reggae boy fans, I realize that a lot of the reggae boy fans don't watch. They don't watch the, the players. They don't watch the players. They, they hear about the players. But they don't physically sit down in front of a TV and watch the players. They might watch a few highlights. But watching highlights, how far can watching highlights of the reggae boys can give you? You can't get a full understanding of the players. And this morning, that's I why, yeah. And that's why the analytics that you comes with after should be important. So I don't understand why Chavis won't want the analytics unless he's watching all of the videos, like all of the, the games, yeah. which I can't understand. Oh, he managed to do so, but um, Tra Tra Travis, you're a legend out here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all the games that I want, so all the, the championship games that were played this morning, I keenly sit on and watch the Brentford versus Bristol City because we have more, more so, uh, more um, reggae boy playing against each other, our Jamaica and our potential reggae boy. We have Casey Palmer, Mariapa. We also had um, Ivan Tony, Ethan Pinnock playing in this game in person. So that's literally four players. With, with potential players as well playing in one game, so that is the reason why I was most keen, keenly on that on that game. Now, Casey Palmer did play; he had he did had a, a, a had a good game, but it was just really evident that Brentford was the better team. Now, key thing is that um, Ivan Tony. I thought people were saying that Ivan Tony is not a high top. You know what? I won't get into that. Let me finish <laughs> off. With you know. <laughs> well, you're, you're gonna start oh, all right, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So. So look, as you guys can see, you can see just from the heat map, look at how in how dense that heat map is. Yes, um, 38 games, but he's a solid, solid performer. He played a total of 38 games and he started all 38 games, all 38 games, completing almost every single game that he has started. Uh, minutes yep. per game, 89, and he has been featured in Team of the Week once. He has also a goal, an additional goal um, to his, his, his catalog. Two big missed chances. And he also has an assist. So not only that he can defend, but he provided an attacking option or providing something in the attacking element for the team to win games. So let's move over now to his passing stats. As you guys know, I love to divulge into the statistical element of every single player. So as I said, he completed a total of 79.2 touches every single game. That's, that's his average. That is his basic average, 79 me, I think that is relatively high. Big chances created one for a defender created big chances. Very, very good. Um, key pass is 0 0.2. Um, accurate pass per game 56.3 at the 85% pass completion. This is a man who knows how to pass the ball. This is a man mm -hmm. who's very, very, mm -hmm. very clean, concise, and clinical on the ball. Yeah, high, because his touches is his touches per game is incredible high so yeah and his successful um passing rate is good so yeah 
Agreed. Exactly. So, 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 um, pa passing in his own half is actually at ninety-one percent, which means that he's is relatively are not at all losing the ball when he's passing the ball inside of his own half. Opposition in the opposition half, eleven point three at sixty-four percent is a defender. Mm -hmm. I see midfielders, um, central defensive midfielders with seventy um seventy um percent average, which means that as a defender, for you to to run just a little bit below a central defensive midfielder. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's really, really good. And if you should track back and all oh, defenders pass their ball inside of the opposition half, it's normally an aerial ball or some diagonal long ball. And for him to be completing those at that high rate, I think that is very, very good. As I said, long ball 4.1 at 49%. So basically, if he's taking four um, long ball for, for this game, two of those are, are completed. I think that is very, very good as well. Now, defended, clean sheets, 14 clean sheets. We have a defender like this in front of um, um, Andre Blake. He has 14 clean sheets. That is what this is telling me. Throughout a game, 38 games, and he almost, um, almost that's like 46% um, in comparison to the game ratio because 38 and 14, it's not for maybe about 40% game, um, game ratio in clean sheets. I think that is good as well. Uh, interception 1.0, tackles per game 0 0.9, possession 1, 0 0.1. Dribble pass is 0 0.3. All right, so that is those are good stats and averaging 5.2 clearances per game. Uh, error leading to goal one and consider two penalties. Yes, I know people are going to highlight that he considered two penalties, but considering two penalties over a 38 game period that's minimal. That is really, really minimal. And he also can he also contributed to two goals, so let's cancel off those two goals considered um, by a penalty. And guess what? He has a clean, clean slate. And then when you well, if you should cancel off those two goals, then you 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 add on two more clean sheets. <laughs> You'd have to add on two more clean sheets. So these are the stats um on a stats based level for Ethan Pinock. And according to Sofa Scores, Sofa Scores rated rated him at 7.12 um, out of 10. And uh, from you, JD, what do you think about his performance throughout the season? And what do you think he can provide to the regular ball? Be, a, be, be that he come back um, fit, fit, um, in, in good time fit. Um, as I've said before, um, him and um, Leah Moore vying for the two top um, best defenders in the entire team. It shows but based on their work rate. Um, with him in your team, you can play much more dynamic. If you have mm -hmm. two weaker central defensive midfielders or, or natural centrals mm -hmm. playing in that 4 2 3 1 system. Mm -hmm. um you can uh, you need a player like this so he can always push high if you look at his heat map he's up in that um the defensive midfield areas yeah, so yeah. that means that once they're pressing he can cover for them and those are the things that you have to always look on on a mm -hmm. football pitch so him will make the team even much more solid because he's yeah. like a secondary defensive midfielder to push the actual centrals that will play in that role because we don't we are not blessed with actual um defensive midfielders Mm -hmm. um he can help out a lot so that is one side i see and i saw that he's a leader man as well some things that people don't talk about i think mm -hmm. his presence is pretty much commanding but he's much more intelligent he's not rash as others and that's the difference so mm -hmm. that maybe people interpreting leadership um based off rashness and the hyperactiveness but I think he deals, he deals, with, deals with things much more intelligent. So yeah. a player like that, you definitely need in a team 100%. And mm -hmm. he will be the one that is pretty much commanding and send the rush defender to go over and make clearances and call him back in time. And still Marshall is weaker um, central central midfielder in that defensive area role yeah. if they are going to play the 4-2-3-1 system. In my opinion, still, I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. No. You you made some valid points, and one of the, one of the things that I, what what you said I really um take to is that his ability. If you guys should look at where he, he uses um uh, most of the intensity, is a bit higher than the norm, the normal person. And when you play that high, it gives you the, the your team the the opportunity to push forward inside of the defensive the, the attacking third higher, and it keeps your team higher above. The halfway line. So, um, so JD out of a current sofa score, they 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 ranked in seven point one in ratings. And uh, from you, JD, what do you think out of ten for a season on a season performance basis? Where would you rank him out of ten? Easily, um, his team made the the playoffs. 
-hmm. and he was one of the pivotal individuals towards that success as you can mm -hmm. see he has over seven that that mean and he plays 30 games out of 46 mm -hmm. so that shows you his importance to the team that in itself put him at a, a solid six which is mm -hmm. with his natural rating and his availability those are the two things. What is natural talent and what he offers to the team itself is mm -hmm. so crucial in those heat maps. Um, mm -hmm. I would have to push him up at least um, a eight and a half to nine out of ten. Because as you can see, he's the one that pulling the strings always. And keep in mind, sometimes they use three at the back. And yeah, for him yeah. to be explo exploiting areas with three at the box like this, that is pretty much impressive. You get me? Mm -hmm. So I think a, a eight, nine out of ten, I would give him nine out of yeah. ten. If they make the playoff, uh, if they make the champ, uh, the the Premier League, ten out of ten. All He's right, impressive, yeah. man. Yeah. And um, what do you think about it, Marlon? Welcome to the show again. So what do you think about the Premier League in, 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 in the Championship? And um, what do you think about um, Ethan Pino well, um, so far? Well, I think he has he had a, had a, a pretty good season. Um, the, the, what, what what I was just on the Brentford website website a while ago. Um, they say it's not an injury; it's what was, was a tactical change. Um, mm -hmm. they want him and Tony to be fit for the, the playoff. I think they play um Bournemouth. I think either well, Thursday or Friday. Right gotta... Yeah, yeah, but well, um gotta... um I'm I'm the coach they, they take him out because. Maybe he could, as they said, tactical because they yeah, don't want to give away. But, um, or to see him weak, maybe they don't want to show their hand like playing poker. You don't want to show your hand, so you, you're going to say it's a tactical thing. But I saw when he got a knock, I think he got a knock. Um, a central midfielder, and then he went down. He, got, he started to walk, then, then the coach made the substitution immediately. So maybe he, he just realized the type of player he has, and he just can't take yeah, any yeah, risk. Yeah, you won't say it's going to be interesting. Let's say, let's say. Yeah, they say it's a tactical trade, so, so we have to just go what the website said. That's from the yeah. Brentford website itself. But it, it's a, it was a pretty good season for him still. Um, I think um, comp um, compare it last year, basically, um, uh, probably another um, 7.9 or 8, 8.5 mm -hmm. comparison with last year. Yeah. And, yeah. and his game has changed a lot because um, Rico Henry um, was injured. Um, Brentford literally started playing um, a bad three. Yeah. Instead of the four four two five initially, yeah. Play. So he ended up moving the ball a lot more. I think mm -hmm. um his pass his passing shows for it. I think he has about over 82 percent passing ratio for his last ten games. Yeah. So performance has, has been pretty good for him. All right. No, 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 no that's a, that's a fair good take because um in the championship he's one of the only I think a few defenders. Um, my, my time, please. Um, few defenders who ranked. In the defensive aspect of their game, with a ranking of old over 71, and most of them are like in region 65, 64, 63. So he's one of the few defenders. Um, so for me personally, I would definitely give him a nine for him to, to stand out this season in particular, the way he has commanded the defensive era, and most of the games that he has, he has played, they, they, these are where they can see the clean sheets. I think they can they had like they have like about um, 18 clean sheets. Um, throughout the season so far, and uh, Ethan Pinnock has 14 out of those 18. So, which means that it's pretty vital to what they are doing this season in particular. And it goes to show that. And what, what he does is, that uh, show his level of fitness? Um, I... Continue. I'm here. I'm here now. Marlon, you need to start with that what, Wi Fi. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe that's the problem. So, um, Travis said Mason Oldgate and JFF is, is talking. JFF don't let everyone know their details. Well, if it's all about secrecy still, well, if that's the case, but let's see when the, the, the team initial lineup is unknown. And uh, let me have a shocker. Are they are then the, are the fans, everyone the fans going to have a shocker? Because if you want to keep everything silent, that's definitely up to you. But we need to know. I think transparency is something that you can give the fans for us to get hope because transparency leads us to get a better understanding of what's happening. And then now with what, with, when we know what's happening, we have hope. And if there's no hope, there's no transparency, there's always going to be issues. It's like when you're in a relationship. 
your your purse your, your spouse is hiding you're hiding certain things from each other there's <laughs> going to be problem there's, there's always going to be problem when just transfers you know there's always a level of understanding you know what i'm doing i know what you're doing then we can move forward we can move forward together because we see where each other each other is going but when there's no transparency that leaves room for um bickering it looms it leaves it leaves room for cons conspiracy theories serious to start operate so mm -hmm. i think that they need to we need transparency we need belief transparency. and trust belief and trust the one yeah. thing that the two things that um um jff locks um that's what transparency um would, would actually bring mm -hmm. so if they don't want belief and trust um that means they're just um behaving in a circle then because that's the thing that they talk about they want from the fans so the only thing you could have done um i and be honest we are not even sure if they're hiding anything we are we are mm -hmm. just taking what chav is saying you understand me so yeah. we are not even sure so then we are going and that's what i'm talking about we are going to lead to be blaming them again when they don't produce something at the end of the day because we are believing people know that they are actually making contact with some of these players yeah so if we don't believe it none at all that leads us not to set our, our eye bar to have problems with the people maybe they didn't do, make any contact that's what i'm <laughs> saying that's why I, I i reserve my judgment on it you get yeah. me yeah, it's, it's so complicated because people are saying this. People are saying that. So many people are saying they have contacted this person. And they are you know, um, trying to find out what is really, really happening. So um, so definitely, um, Ethan Pinock, we have now covered Ethan Pinock. The next player that we're going on to, which is, I believe, is a, a sensitive one. A very, very sensitive one is Amar Bell. And the reason why this one is so sensitive is because of the recent occurrence between um, Kemar Lawrence moving from Andelec into the, 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 the MLS. No, I this is the reason why I would say that it's sensitive. No, everyone knows that people are going to say, yes, personal reasons and all these type of things. Yes, we do understand the personal reason aspect of it. But when we are talking about the footballing aspect now, we're, we're solely dealing with football. You may have move personal reasons, fine. No. We now are going to look at a young player. And uh, we have a few of them, as, as I already covered. Um, Tariq Mitchell, um, Rico Henry. Yes, you guys can say all you want to say about the players, that they won't come, they will never come, all those type of things. But they still do our potentials. It, it solely depends on what JFF decided, decided that they want to do. So I think that's it, that, that's it, another issue. Let me see what's going to happen. I'm going to go over to Amarbe. So the reason why this is a sensitive one is because of the player himself. Now, Amarbe, he would want to come and stamp his authority in this aspect. He wants to make himself known. Now, we have recently seen um, Taxi go moving to play in the MLS. I'm, I'm not sure what the situation is, as I said before. Does Amarbe now have a greater shout of finding himself in, in the team over taxi and uh, maybe we're, maybe we can say we're over analyzing certain situation but do you think that Amar Bell now have a stronger chance of getting into the starting lineup what do you think about that Jamie? um for me you need to pull up his stats that people can see what we're talking about you know um yeah, I'm, I'm, bring, I'm bringing i'm bringing up yeah <laughs> amari bell he has an okay season so far mm -hmm. and if you keep on being consistent Comparing to someone that maybe not playing in enough mm -hmm. or in a mental state, you know, we have to equate a lot of things that we can't just jump and say it's a sure start of our, of our person. Because yeah. if you're not playing and this guy keeps growing and he has natural talent, I think mm -hmm. you have to really call it down the line there, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that, so that, that, it's, that, that, it's, it's, it's tough because I have taxi um thing here and you know, mm -hmm. I thought he would have made a massive, a better impact there. That's my problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I, I, yeah. Um, I can't, what, what, what do you have? When was the last time Taxi um, actually played, uh, uh, played some football? Literally, some competitive football. Hold on, it's, it's loading here. It takes take a little yeah. time. Let me get it up. All right. Um, This season, um, for instance, played 15, started 14. Um, average um, minutes, 78. Mm -hmm. So he played 15 games um, mm -hmm. in the league, that is. Mm -hmm. That is, in the league. Uh, is it showing you the last look, game? 
No, yeah, it's going to show it. One second, one second. But they're talking mm -hmm. about his strengths. His strengths mm -hmm. are tackling and growing duels. His weakness, weaknesses, discipline. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Dangerous. So, um, yeah. like, relatively, Amari and, and Taxi are the same age group. Taxi is like 28. Amari Bell is actually 27. Recently turned 27 as well. No, Amari Bell is... This season, I've, I've played like um, 18 games in total. Mm -hmm. um, um, 80 minutes in those games. Um, he has no goal. He has no assist. But um, for this season, Blackburn Rovers are quite comfortable where they are in, where they are in the championship. Mm -hmm. No advancing, no relegation. So they are in a comfortable position. Now, this morning, they played a very, very good game. Dominating the game as well. Beating Birmingham City 5 goals to 2. And we saw an outstanding performance from the team. Now, for this one, um, Amar Bell has a rating of 6.6 .6 for this game. Now, mm -hmm. let me move into the stats. Big chance missed two. Now, let's go into his passing stats, then no over to his defensive stats. Um, he has um, 57 averaging. Before I do that, let me run through some of the comments because I know a few people might, might be getting angry. Yeah, um, um, yeah, yeah. Mekelin, he played again... Um, he played against Mekelin. Um, he had a good game, 7.1. Okay. That, and that, how yes. Um, that was what the the seventh of the third. Let me check the next updated one closer to the seventh of, of the third. Um, they didn't play so much more. Yeah. Then you have the fourteenth of March, mm -hmm. and then you have. Let me check the last one to see if he played in this one to make sure we can because they were playing against Royal Antwerp. Mm -hmm. Royal Antwerp. Nope, he didn't play. He was on the bench. He was on the bench. So mm -hmm. I would say he played a um, couple months ago in March. Yes. So according to the stats here. I thought I, I personally thought that he followed. To the, I would say that he maybe followed to the manager. But that's that's my that's my opinion, people. I just I saw a few things and a few articles, so it's my opinion. <laughs> um Yeah, March so is the last time he played. March. Yeah, so sometimes you have to read in between the lines to certain things. Uh, if you are in the media, you'll know the narrative that the media really try to bring across. <sighs> If you understand the media, I, I, I wasn't in the media until I started to do this channel. That is where I find out where narratives come in play when people are writing stories or bring across a message. So, um, in yeah, terms of Jamalo, West Harden, Roland, Aarons, and Ethan Pinnock, Amar Bell, and Casey all started today. Mm, that's good. Jay, anyway, that's a 3 one over Mariapa and Palmer, who both started. Um, Chavi said, Ooh, so far back. Oh, that's far back. Woof. That's a far up there, JD. Yeah, 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 yeah a bit, um, a bit far, yeah. All right, so um, he wanted to play, but because he wanted to let Newcastle stay in the Premier League, Jeff also get Aiden in. Um, so he wanted Newcastle to stay in the Premier League, but yes, he's not playing for Newcastle. He, he has been injured for the longest while. We should have gotten a... <laughs> Listen, people. <laughs> um, for me, personally, Isaac Aiden, they said that Isaac Aiden contacted JFF. If Isaac Aiden contacted JFF, it must have meant that he's the one who said, I am coming to play. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to play? And JFF, JFF would say, okay, we know the quality you have. Yes. So sort out your documents. <laughs> now, why would there be a need for you to say you're waiting until the end of the season? Why contacted them then? Why did you make the contact then? That doesn't make any sense to me. In per no, no, not at all. He has been injured for like a month now. Are going. Why hasn't those documents started out? Why hasn't everything come out that um, he has finally switched over? The season, this, the, uh, the two games are left. Two or three games are left in the season. <coughs> and he has been out for the longest while. <laughs> yeah, so, well. I don't understand what you guys are trying to say. I, I just don't get it. Um, Jay Ennis said, Swansea lost to what for two goals to zero, and Andre Gray scored. Analysts were about low because he flopped. <laughs> Javis, you know, <laughs> Javis, you're not easy, you know. <laughs> um, Jay Ennis said, four Jamaican played in that game, well rep rep represented. Exactly. Pinock um, only performed against struggling teams. Really? Really now, Joshua? Really? Really, um, so but you know, he's, he's at he's, they're in third, they're in third position for a reason. 
Yeah, it's for Brazil for me. So yes, the newly performed when um, all the four teams clean sheet that he got are only against small teams. You, you need to ask how much small team in the championship. That, that, good question. <laughs> for striker, once they don't score, they are soon flop to me. That's why I, I don't like um I won't like the analysis of game. Okay, Travis, no, that's 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 from I have friends just like you because they said that um for for if Andre Gray didn't score today, he didn't have a good game. He no, could have that's also a, had an, he could have also had an assist. But guess what? He it, didn't score, he didn't have assist, so he didn't have a good game. In he, modern day football, from, in huh? modern day football, that's not accurate at all. No, no, because no. strikers need to do so much more depending on your system. Um, yeah, it's fluidity alone give you at least plus five on your, your rating. Ask anyone that's watching football. So saying that he only has to score, he can be an assister, a secondary assister, you know, of the play, mm -hmm. you know, and he's still effective because if he weren't there to pass to the individual that made the assist, mm -hmm. um, it wouldn't um come up. So I don't think so. I don't think so, but um. You have your, your opinion still, but I don't agree yeah. with it at all. <laughs> um, DJ Roman said, Ivan Tony not coming, Miji. Stop talk about him. Simple. Well, if you think he's not coming, so why is it that um, Isaac Aiden is coming, but Ivan Tony is not coming? And both of them still are waiting out. So much people are confident that Aiden is coming. So much people are confident that contact has been made. And because we believe a player didn't make himself available, means that he's not coming. But yet still, other players that we would want to see they are coming, but they still make, them, make, make themselves available. It boils okay. down to us as fans or personal opinion. We want to see who we want to see. And because we want to see those persons in perspective, we create narratives for those persons that we want to see. And we create narratives for the persons that we don't want to see to give up to, to put something bad on them, paint a bad image on them. Just the same as our, our players, we create narratives that they are the best thing ever walk. And truth and in fact, they are better players than them. I've seen and I can I, I take screenshots of people saying that I won't even you know I won't say that because this <laughs> someone said I'm gonna I'm gonna be open. I've taken a screenshot of someone saying that Robert a fit Ravel Morrison is one of the best players <laughs> in the Premier League. I'm like, <laughs> what? What? But anyways, I won't go into that. That that's just the narrative of us as fans. That, that, that that's how we think. Because we love a player, so that's what we think. Um, Jay Nuna said, big match today. Good. That's good. That's a good match for you, of course, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, you guys lose as an Arsenal fan. <laughs> uh, it's not me being bad, man. It's just me being a fan. Travis said, um, Tony were con um, contacted, but he waiting for end of season. Yeah, same thing as Isaac Aiden. But people are saying Isaac Aiden is coming. So if he goes to England, good for him. Wish him all the best as Jamaican fan. I won't miss him at all. I would. Because that would be quality going away, if that's what you think. We welcome knowledge on our boys. Most of um, us don't have the time to break down players. If you are a fan, we appreciate the work. Thank you. Smash the like button. Bless it. Thank you for that, Mr. Webster. The knowledge. Mr. Webster said they thankful. He's thankful for the knowledge. And if you're a worker boy fan, you should be glad for the breakdown and analysis of every single player. It doesn't matter if he had a good or bad um, game. So thank you for that, Webster. And big up one another. <laughs> A uh, very informative program. DJ said, Travis, real talk, because them hosts here blind. Well, if DJ think that we're blind, if um, Travis thinks that we're blind, just remember that you guys were the same person who said that Isaac Aiden was contacted. Um, let's, who let's, let's mention all the players that were contacted. Louis Baker, Fabio Dixon, um, Kilo Taylor Art, me, Isaac Aiden, um, Anthony Grant, these are all players that were contacted. All players that were contacted. Now, the narrative is you guys believe that Ivan Tony won't come. Out of all the players, why is it that there is only one player that you think won't come when every other player has been contacted and everyone strongly believes that the rest will come? So, why? What's so different about this player? Because he's the better out of the lot. So you guys are afraid. Literally, we are afraid to lose him. So we are rejecting him before he comes. So it's like a psychological barrier. <laughs> so it's like it's like in Jamaica when you're looking at a woman and and you know she's gonna reject you. So you just start to, to go mad on. <laughs> you start to cuss her out before anything else. Uh, guys, I've been talking for a long while. You guys have anything to say on that? And you have anything to say on that, Marlon? 
Marlon froze again? Yeah, it's, it seems that like it, yeah, he froze. Okay. So, okay. You, what, what do you think about that, JD? Um, as you know, I have been fighting a, a, a three month battle. You understand? Mm -hmm. Of trying to say, um, I choose common sense over mm -hmm. um, corner shop mentality and too much drama. And I guess I got branded as the outcast for that reason, you know? And um, people just didn't read into what I'm saying. I'm just all saying that um, I don't want to hear about who is coming and who got contacted without no concrete proof. That in, in, every, in every era of life, that would have been common sense. Mm -hmm. But now in this computer age or this new phone social media age, it seems like, oh, you're just salty or something they just mm -hmm. create narratives around it and say something stupid because you have a lot of people have stupid handles and stuff and mm -hmm. they continue with it but really and truly we want to see the best players in so i think everyone wants to see this best players in you get mm -hmm. me and that's the, the the main um talk of the day so we don't want to be going around creating 700 videos because i'm not doing videos for money so mm -hmm. I want the players to just reach here. I thought by doing some of the videos, we are actually educating the masses and forcing JFF to put, the, put them under pressure to make sure they contact these guys. That was the sole reason of um, doing these videos. But if I realized that most of these guys they didn't want them and making narratives, I wouldn't even waste my time to cover them, you know? Yeah. So let me just wait until the guys have been confirmed because once they confirmed one time they can't be unconfirmed and confirmed yet again yeah you get me yeah. so, so it, it will um, just be one video yeah, exactly. <laughs> just one so, yeah one video so, um and then uh, so so let's run through this the, the rest of it so i'm arguing total of 50 um, 57.9 touches per 90. um one big challenge is created um one key pass is for 90 as well um well, 0 0.6, which is quite close. Um, so accurate pass per game, 24.1 at 69%. Relatively a bit low on the low end. Um, um, accurate pass in his own half, 11.2 at 73%. And also accurate passes in the opposition half, 13.1 at 61%. And then now we have um, accurate long ball and chip passes and those things relatively in the 25 and 20 and 31 um era respectively then now move on to the defensive aspect of this game he has four clean sheets in a total of like, like um 18 games mm, could have done better uh 1.1 interception per 90 um 1.6 tackles per game as well um 0 0.2 position one dribble pass 0 0.1 clearances per game 1.3 and error lead to shot only one so these are actually the stats for um amar bell and we want to see how well he stacks up and if he has the potential to be a solid, solid um, second choice or a, a first choice. But for this is in perspective for the championship team, um, Blackburn Rovers, um, I for myself, I would give him um, basically a seven. I think that he could have gotten um, done a lot better. It's since recently, the back end of the season of this year, we have seen, we have seen Amar Bell and literally putting in those solid, solid performances. And it was literally um he has been there the entire season he's just he waited until like the last end of the season to start putting in this, this good performance so for me it's not the best season i'll give him a seven out of ten for that i think just for the last stages of the season i think he should have done better he should have started off the season on a stronger foot yes we do know that there's factors to affect someone's season but as a professional um there's a reason why they are professional because i am a professional for what i do and at any given day it's um in my line of work we have to consider um how we work first even though we have families we still have to consider the output the best output on the work on the line of job so we have to consider that and then now you have the best output on the line of job i can guarantee you some other time you are you can sort out issues with your family and and things get better i won't say that it, it coincides but definitely um but for me i think that this season he gets a seven for me um what do you think about it JD? i think he's just a decent guy that can do all the basis uh, basics um properly and if you put him in a system that is already overpowered like oh for instance the top three teams in the kaka region he mm -hmm. would flourish because if he has less um duties to cover i think he can um focus on what his strengths are properly 
-hmm. And that's what I would have looked at. We can't just look at, okay, because Ian Campbell says here, Amari Bell and Wes Harden, um, not good passing. is terrible. Okay. Well, his defending is good. I'm yeah, checking yeah, taxi yeah. here. I'm checking taxi here, and it's simply saying that taxi is a good defender. Mm -hmm. It's not saying he's a great passer or nothing. So, um, really and truly, you have to look at the guy's strengths and yeah. who is available. Mm -hmm. You guys said um, Alvas Powell ain't a good defender. Well, this guy is a good defender. Mm -hmm. So, deciding what you want. You have more attacking players that can do attacking duties, and mm -hmm. maybe he can f um, focus on defending. So, yeah, you never mean no. Yeah, which that's his actual first job, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, when it was a big up military, you or that way, and Jay any where said to not disrupt the team spirit, Tapa needs to play with a back three in order for us to be successful in the Gold Cup. Add <clears> me <throat> in it, um, I can explain more. Oh, I, I, I won't drop the link, um, Jay Weather. Um, you can go on his social, contact me over via Twitter, and I, I can give you the link there. Just add me on Twitter or Instagram, I could, I can give you the link there, but I can't, I won't drop the link in, in, in the chat, um, for um, this time around. I can't see Tony going to England. They have too much high caliber striker already. Um, uh, he's a good striker, so why not? You know, that's not, I, I, Joshua, that's not true. I think Tony can actually make the English team. I yeah, think I he think. can. Uh, people really doubting him. I think he yeah. can. He can. Trump Don't said, write um, it off, man. Yeah, Travis said he born in England, so sometimes it's hard for players to come. And again, Pinnock could mm. also help to persuade him. Listen, um, what people don't know. Um, Isaac, to Isaac, um, Ivan Tony, um, I think is this Vincent Saint Vincent. Is it Saint Vincent? I think he is he, his 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 mother is from Jamaica and his father is I think he's from Saint Vincent. Yes, he has three um eligibility. Yeah, and 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 I was on his live and he was speaking about it. Now um the, the the volcanic eruption that happened in the caribbean uh, it is Vince, why can't i remember where it, where, it, where it happened um if it's been in saint vincent i think he went down there and he did a great job also created a a a, a, a sponsor um a fund me go for me for them as well so he did um, um have done a great job which means that he, he haven't forget forgotten his roots and on the same um live 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 show that he was doing they asked him if it is um is it oven bread or, or fried dumplings? And he said fried dumplings. So he has its roots. He's, he's, he has its roots. So we can't look, look, look past that. He has its roots. Don't think that he, he forgets his roots. Um, um, Karim, um, Karim said more needs to improve on his positional play. We'll see about that one. But you never know. The JFF might have him in the team. They work on the secret. Sometimes persons like Simon don't know everything because they talk too much. Oof. <laughs> That, that's some shit. Um, Travis is a setup man. Travis is one of the the, the ring leader of the war masses. <laughs> From um, the Travis, comments, um, <laughs> you see, the regular girls team came out with us as knowing EPL women teams player were in the team. All right, listen to this now. Why is it that they came out publicly and announced the regular regular girls team, also announced the regular girls friendly, but they couldn't <clears> do it for the regular boys, and also they could have done a provision provisional listener. It doesn't mean that everyone will be turned up now. Simple. No, like it's, it's, qu it's quite simple. Um, nothing is um set in set in, in stone as yet, mm -hmm. and people just keep speculating because they want to look important. Simple. Yeah. Um, because one these guys show that once it's set, they are going to announce it. Mm -hmm. Period. That's what I'm seeing here. Because as you said yourself here, the reggae girls um have been announced. You get me? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you, no one would hold back. You get me? They want mm -hmm. the, the people to get excited. So they would have sent out the information fast yeah, enough. If they have gotten it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's what I what I see here. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why people yeah. Um Jerry said only for precautions. So coach resting for next games. What's that? Um maybe the injury. Maybe the injury he was talking about with um, um Pino. Yes, okay, but but the the, the 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 playoffs are not until maybe like the next two weeks, or is it the next two weeks? Or next, I'm not sure. But yeah, but one week break and then it starts. So put it at yeah. two weeks then. Yeah. So why take off the player now when you when you need to win the game to maximize your points? Your points stand. But anyway, that that's his personal. Aspect. Yeah, you never may know. Maybe they feel, they, they matched up better with the next team and they wanted to play that team. 
Okay. Um, Yak Nee said, how big of a difference the Dutch league from the championship? Um, um I, the area division is is far better than the championship. I think it's so. Big. Come on. I, have I think it's far it's better the than the championship. I the problem is the difference in football. The Air Divisi plays mm -hmm. technical football. Um, the championship plays physical football. English league, the English Premier League plays um, um, physical football. It's mm -hmm. now tweaking a little bit because you have Guardiola uh, and those guys coming in that plays um, passing football. So that's the difference. But um, it has nothing to do with um, the Air Divisi is better. Mm -hmm. It's, it's 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 not it's even be, close. It's better. It's better. There's no doubt about it. They would have done the cha the teams in the championship very bad, very very bad. Come on, we we saw Ajax kicking Juventus out of Champions League. Yeah. So there's 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 no talk about. But, um, let's see. Um, Reading Jaw two two also. DJ said um them man here now watch them female them and all that them girl they are starter in Liverpool, Tottenham, Chelsea, Villa. And Charlton. <laughs> um Germany, big up Germany saving. When it start early this morning, so lucky me check YouTube. <coughs> that means they didn't get the notification then. Um YouTube is messing around. Ian Cam said Ethan Pinocchi is Jamaica's best and most talented defender. I think I would agree with that one. DJ said taxis are chicken. <laughs> <laughs> don't pressure, don't pressure the player like that, uh, DJ. <laughs> don't pressure the player like that. DJ a troublemaker, man. DJ a Travis a troublemaker, I know. True, yeah, I don't yeah. want to want football. Um, I watch international. Joshua Kid said, is Amar Bell starting over Kemar Lara? We'll see how that one goes. It depends on who the coach like. I think that has a, a, a plays a big factor in Jamaican football. Um, the friend thing. But uh, that's that's just it. That's just it. That's and just that's it. Um, Taxi recently said he wants to play in Belgium. And now he's in MLS. <laughs> yeah, because he um, said, he said in an interview that when he reached in Belgium, he got so much offers here and there and there, and he loved it. And then, um, uh, a few, a month, a month or two later, he's in but, I don't but did he, You remember when we were actually doing the, the live streams together, together talking about Taxi and what he said in, in an interview? And he, he talked about he talked about um as to pay rent in New York and um Belgium. Yeah. And I said to you, so why is it his family is not over here? That means he's, he he's, he might not be comfortable enough. That's what I said on the stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the reason for that is Belgium. If you know anything about Belgium and the Netherlands, it's extremely hard to live in. But if you are coming from Jamaica, first thing. You barely um, find someone that can speak English. You barely find someone that speaks English. And sometimes, if they even do speak English, they will find it disrespectful for you to come in their country and want them to change their language in order to speak to, speak to you. So in order for you to have a, a comfortable um, lifestyle and um, surrounding, I think you have to, you have to get... Um, you have to get in line with the culture. And I don't, it's very far from Jamaican culture. And mm -hmm. I saw how he spoke and uh, the interview, and I just believe that he's more into his culture. So that's why I said to you the day, I think he's going to leave Belgium. I don't think he's going to stay there. Mm -hmm. But no, he did it. No, um, I guess <laughs> no, one would, no one would give me the credit for what I actually said before. <laughs> yeah. Um, Travis said, um, he recently said he wants to play in Belgium, you know, MLS. There are some pieces, however, he also said there are many clubs interested in him, and it could be for the money too. Yeah, but what about your career? You think about your career. I'm moving to a bigger club, playing, playing in Belgium, playing, and you get the opportunity to play in Champions League. That's a mm -hmm. bigger pay bonus, and you perform mm -hmm. at the highest level. Um, Andres Williams, um, Williams said, the USA, you nearly broke Leon's foot. Ooh, that sounds like a bad tackle. No, JFF contact Aiden, not the other way around. Shame me head. Thank you for that, um, Jay Anyweather. Bless up in the morning. Thank you, Andy. Um, early morning stream. Um, seems like no one has woken up as yet. You guys went to bed late last night. <laughs> um, Guna, you don't read with understanding. You want to play after the Premier, Premier League season. <clears throat> no, you wanted to play after the Premier League season. It was in March. Do you know if the papers is finalized? Come on. All right, this is it, Travis. This is, this is what I'm saying. He hasn't been playing for the longest time, period. No, hopefully I weren't the same page. We're talking about um, Isaac. Maybe a month now, 
Isaac having him playing football because of injuries. What sitting at home or doing rehabilitation he has a lot of time to go and sort out his documents. So much time. One month you could have you could have acquired your passport in that one month because you're not playing. You won't be in all training. You won't be in training. Session. <coughs> you're doing physio and recovery. Physio and recovery. Then you return to full training. Physio and recovery is not the entire day. You, he has so much time you could have sorted out his document during that time period. I know we could have maybe at the end of this month we could have officially said that Isaac Aiden has acquired his passport easily. And he could have, there would be no need for the JFM to be hiding and, 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 and hiding around um, about um, we don't want them um, England to know because England might take him out. Come on. There's so much players in the defensive midfield position for England for them to look at Isaac, um, Isaac Aiden. So much. Jude Bellingham, 16 years old. 16 years old got called for the England national team. And yeah, well, Jude Bellingham out here playing in semi-finals, you know? So, see? So, and so, his, so, his level of play is not normal, I have to be honest. They, they're still considering Isaac Aiden. Come on. I don't know what you guys are trying to say. JF, JF working on it, working on it um, to be expedited. Let's see. JD laughing like Chucky. <laughs> yeah, it's just <laughs> Chucky's crazy. Newcastle four, Leicester two. Leicester is up there, they're, they're dashing away another Champions League position. Um, Chucky's still talking crap. Ricketts is a liar. None of those players were being worked on. Look at Redman, who claimed was not contacted when he came out publicly and say it wasn't. And that was like two weeks ago. And the, the, the interview that Ricketts did was like, um, two, almost a month now. And then two weeks later, the, the guy came out and said that he was not contacted. Um, so let's get back onto on to Amar Bell. For 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 this season, where would you rank Amar Bell um um in Carlos ratings? Did you did we do his rating? No, we didn't do his ratings. No, I didn't do his rating, but I, I, I gave an overall assessment of him. I don't know if Marlon wanted to say something. Yeah. What do you want to say on him, Marlon? Marlon gone again. Yeah, Marlon, um, uh, internet really going messed up, you know. <laughs> Ma um, Marlon, internet worse than mine. That means you have a, a bad internet. I would give him a five. I would, I would personally give him a five. I think we could have gotten more. We could have gotten more from him, as I said earlier. So I would give him. I can't give him anything beyond um six or anything like that. It it it'd be, it'd just be difficult. I can't be biased because he's Jamaican. I can't be biased. I. I don't think it's, it's for me, as someone who's creating content, for me to be speaking on a biased perspective, it's difficult. Even when I'm dealing with Arsenal, as much as I love, I love Arsenal, I deal with them like total half. Bro, anything you're doing, if you can't be objective in what you're doing, you can't do it. I, it makes I, no sense. It's very hard in life. Um, if you can't be objective, you can't um, excel, none at all. You're mm -hmm. going to only ex you're going to reach a level in your niche, but stop. You can't expand. Yeah. Because people people notice things, you know. So you have yeah, to be real, right. my brother. Keep it up, man. Um, Andy McNeil said, "Yes, I did realize how much I learned from your channel, like these that focus on Jamaican football. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for that, Andy. Um, smash the like button, guys. I would really, really appreciate. It. I at least should have thirty likes." Right now, at least minimum 30 likes. <laughs> Jeremy and says, So we've been trying hard to get Tony, but to my knowledge, Johnson has been following the exact footstep of Tony and thriving. And he is more versatile in how he scores. We don't have to wait for him. Um, I'm, I'm hearing people saying that um, John C. Clark Harris is more versatile and John C. Clark Harris is this and is that. Um, is it the same rejection thing you guys are trying to put up a, a blockage because you don't want to get hurt? Because the player just don't choose to play for us. <laughs> he's, scoring, yeah. he's scoring numerous amount of goals in a championship at a higher level than Johnson Clark Harris. And he did, did the same thing that Johnson Clark Harris they are, did. They are, they, are, they are doing identical goals as well, exactly. you know? Yeah, yeah, identical, yeah. They are doing good. Both of them doing well. Um, they, are, they, are, they are similar players, man. They are similar players. Yeah. Warren said, we can't afford to be picky when we are in a selection process. process. We need to look at all players that is eligible and choose the best team. I am certain that's the most fans want. I, that's what I want. I want nothing less than that. Ian said, Amar Bell and West Hardy not good part in his server. Oh, that's so far because, because they read that early. True. Yeah, yes. They've been bang average below. They're not, not quality. Jeff should have um, went for Tariq Mitchell 
and Ferguson. Um, I do rate Tyreek Mitchell. Guna, anything about Kida Taylor? The only thing I'm hearing is contacted. I've been just contacted, contacted. <laughs> That's all I'm hearing. Contacted, contacted. Um, just take up your phone and call someone and he's contacted. Send him an email and he's contacted. Um, Nigel Smith said, Damien Lowe said on an interview that Ravel is one of the best players in the world. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you know just what you said? You said it's someone funny. said so. So yeah. what you get me? The um one of the governing body never um rank um Robert Morrison as one of the best players ever. It's just a no. player that plays with him said so. You get me? So um let me tell you something. The best player I ever seen physical with my two eyes mm -hmm. play the football is Jeremy and Hugh. Okay. Physical, I've never seen like in physical. I've never seen yeah. Messi physical. No, I I saw Messi. Messi, Messi, Messi is right, incredible. So. German, you. I saw me. German, you. He's good, but good lad. Exactly. Um, I don't think like Messi's. No, 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 no. So <laughs> I can say that a little guy in my community that plays barefoot football is the mm -hmm. best guy I've ever seen playing football in my life. Because yes. He's just turning everyone around, and he's the best thing ever. Walk. But listen. Yes, facts. If you are, if, if he is the best player, if he's one of the best players in the world, it is not hard for him to be to be in a team. He will not be moving from team to team. They, they, will, try, they will try to create the team around him, not exactly. just being a team. He would be that lead of that team and people will fit players around him. That's mm -hmm. how you deal with your gems. But I, mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think people are just trolling because they yeah. know that it's going to get a reaction or something. <laughs> Um, Patrick Riley said, I think, um, I think, um, Tony will make England. He's a good striker. Self, they meant low himself, not quality. He's yourself quality. <laughs> he has said, as the defenders, Bill and Hardy need to learn how to pass the ball. Look at more and you know, passing stats. They're excellent. Mm, that's true. Be as a defender, you're the one who beat, you, you help beat in the press and you help also to release the ball, pressure and release. Um, so um, so we're going to look at the next player, people. That is Casey Palmer. Um, <laughs> that, is Kay, uh, that is definitely Casey Palmer. So we're going to have a look at it. There's so many people saying that this player is coming, that player is coming. People, listen to what I'm saying. Casey Palmer don't, here. Don't go around taking all these talks that a player has been contacted. Don't just take that as face value. You hear people say players been contacted. Don't take it at face value. Do your own research. You can go and research. Um... You can you can look at um actually the the, the 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 other aspect of things because yes we heard that um Ivan Tony has been contacted. Ivan Tony broke the championship record this morning. Don't you think that England will be looking at him? Of course. Remember, you know, we, we all said that he was he was contacted. What does that say? What does that say? <laughs> no agreement has been met. You didn't say an agreement has been met. So let's look at the next player. Casey Palmer. Now we're looking at the future, people. 24 years old. We're looking at the next four, um, three World Cups. And that's 12 years. At age 24, 12 years. That's uh, 36. Ooh, that's a lot. But <laughs> we're, we're looking at two more World Cups with Casey Palmer. This season, he's having a mm -hmm. good season with Bristol City. Um, no promotion, no relegation as well. Um, we'll see how well he, he stops up. Now, he's one of the players that we're looking at. We definitely two want to have two World Cup. Two yeah. more World Cup, he's 24, right? Yeah, he's 24. Two World Cup. So two more World Cup, uh, he's yeah. an attacking midfielder. You never may know, oh, a legendary, yeah. you, he might just become the next Ravel Morrison. <laughs> <laughs> he's, doing, he's doing good. Um, let's let's go into his season. Um, let's, say, let's analyze his season that he has, he has had so far. This morning, they were literally battered by um, Brentford. <laughs> they were battered by Brentford and Mariapa could not manage the pace of the game and he was substituted. He couldn't manage the pace of the game. So all we are talking about Mariapa will, will be in the team. Um, picking the team off sentiment, that is where we're going wrong. We don't pick team off sentiment. We pick team off who is playing football, proper football. Um, so I watched the game. Mariapa, he looked way out of his depth <laughs> and he's in a championship. <laughs> so he played a total of 35 games. As you guys can see, it's heat map. Definitely in the areas that you would like to see um, the central attacking midfielder to be um, set pieces as well, all uh, dead balls, um, corners, and um, crosses. Very, very good at set piece. A very technical player, a really, really good technical player. Um, total match played 35, started 18 out of those. Um, minutes per game 51, 
and featured in Team of the Week once. He has three goals and two assists for an attacking midfielder. I think that should have been a bit more because when you look at a player such as Buendia, who is also an attacking midfielder, he's like 15 plus goals and assists. So in, in, in all, contribution. So I think he should have doing a little bit better there. But I, you also have to factor in the team that he's played for. But mm -hmm. let's, let's look at that. Um, so, um, scoring through, I won't, won't look at the scoring aspect. Let's look at this passing aspect where that is important for. As, um, touches total 30.2 touches per 90. Um, key pass is 0 0.7. And big chances created 3. Um, accurate pass per game 12.1 at 68%. I think mm -hmm. he can do a lot better than that. You think he can do a lot better? Because yes, he's passing it, the final ball. So that's why I was asking. Yeah, because he's I, doing the final ball, so most time mm -hmm. it, it don't come off good. So I think attacking midfielders, um, last stretch, you, you do it a little bit different, you know? You're yeah, right, it's yeah, a little yeah, bit no, different. I, the, thing, the thing about it is that, even as, a, as an attacking midfielder, because, well, maybe I'm looking, I'm comparing I'm comparing him to other players, because I, I earlier I was looking at when he has passed, when, mm -hmm. when he has um, passed it, um, accurate passes when the accurate pass is actually at 84. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's at 84. He's the leading assist um playmaker. Um, he, and his uh, his pass is at 84. So when you look at the, the variation, they're playing in the same league, and you look at 84 in comparison to 68, that's a big gap. That's a big yeah. gap. Yeah. Yeah. And accurate passing is only half eight four point seven at eight three percent. Um accurate passing opposition half. This is where he's making the final passes now. Um, is seven point seven at fifty nine percent. Remember, now, he, he he can he, he can also be in the, in the final third, and it does necessarily mean that he has to be making those knee glide passes. Just maybe a teammate next week, but mm -hmm. the passes has to be completed. Okay, I okay, think fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, fair judgment. Complete passes. So there's there's a lot of ways to look at it, but for this season in perspective, um. I think he can do better. I won't go into defensive stuff. He's got an attacking midfielder. I'll definitely um, get out. And I've just seen news coming in. Out injured. Um, was tackled by Josh Sargent from the USMNT team. And Liam Bell is now out. <laughs> and, okay. <laughs> so, um, that is a bit of bad news, I, I would say. I would definitely say. That's a bit of bad news. Um, So, in accordance to an attacking midfield, JD, how would you rank him? I won't go into his defensive stats. How would you rank um, Casey Palmer this season? Um, clearly, they gave him a lower rating. And mm -hmm. based on the amount of games he played, which is um, 35, he mm -hmm. started just 18. And he mm -hmm. has um, a minutes per game ratio of 51. Mm -hmm. And one team of the week. That's okay. That's all right. Because yeah. if you look at the games that he played, the amount 30, he started... 30, 35. Yeah, but the yeah, amount he started, which is just 18. 18. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So that means yeah. he's he's not he's okay in the team, but he's not one of the main starters that you're going to look look out for. He's just mm -hmm. on that fringe to get over rightfully in the team. So mm -hmm. I think he still um um did himself a favor because he had three goals um mm -hmm. and two what assists. Is... But look, key key passes and big chances created three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, uh, with, with 30.2 30. touches per game um, in 51 minutes, I think you're not giving him the right assessment. I think you need to give him a little bit more respect. 51 minutes, 30 touches, and three um, big chances created. That means he's doing well. He's an impact mm -hmm. player. That's what it's saying. He's an impact player. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, impact player, but... Remember, no, no, we're looking for him. We're looking towards him for to be a starter. Yes, okay. Well, well that's so fair. That's, that's a, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's fair. We're, we're looking for a starter. So, but the good thing about it is that he's playing regular football and he's actually doing something. It's not like he's not doing anything. He's he's making an impact. Yeah. And and by by making an impact, it means that you can literally do something about what you're doing. Um, mm -hmm. let me do a few of the comments yeah. before I go to the next player. So for for me. For the season, I will give him a six. Season rated, I will give um, Casey Palmer a six. I think he could have done a bit better, especially in attacking midfield role. Um, 
I just believe you could have done a bit better. That, is, is that, that's hard? Is that hard? <laughs> go, go, no, go no out here being ash to the players, the minute, man. Believe me, man. 51 minutes, 30 touches, three big chances created. I think that's a good return. Guys, let me know inside the chat if that's a good return or bad. Uh, let me know if you're going to rate him harsh because um, your lord and savior, um, Raphael Morrison, is also an impact player. And this is showing that this guy is an elite impact player as well. Yeah. So you must <laughs> show him some respect as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the, let me go. The next player we're going on is Mariapa. So we're going to see um, how he stacks up this season in particular. <laughs> because I know that um, he's a member of the core players, core that everyone speaks about. So we'll see how that one goes. Let me run through some of the comments. Adrian Mariapa. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so far back. Yep, so let's run through a few more because, mm -hmm. yep, we have already been a whole and ten in. <laughs> um, I agree, Travis. Um, let me see. Kim, Kim, Kevin Lambert is also better. I saw Kevin Lambert and I was quite impressed with his performance. Um, Travis said Lambert, no good. That's why he's in the US. <laughs> hey, Travis, they're beating people hard out here. <laughs> Travis, you're beating people hard out here, bro. Uh, Warren said, um, I, um, I go to the TFC games, so I would be nice. It would be nice to see Mr. Lawrence. Uh, we need to help on the defense. We need help on the defense. Toronto is a um, multicultural city. If he does well, he will love it. Everyone loves Canada, bro. It does not, it's not Toronto alone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think Canada, the entire Canada, Canada region is um, multicultural as well. Yeah, yeah. When I went there, I was, I was actually surprised when I was there. <laughs> I was really, really surprised. Cultural shock. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. When, uh, I went up and the public uh, go wake up and realize we can't they, you, use the USL man beat Mexico and the USA best team, much less quality for our World Cup. Mm, we have to do something about that. But yes, we, we can't use the USL man who are playing week in, week out, but we can use someone who's not playing. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> we want to use someone who's not playing. Um, just charge and, charge and tackle Leon. Um, Leon must rough him up. I tried this, the man. <laughs> well, well, he's off already, so he can't rough him up. <laughs> um, Patrick Riley said, Aiden is not interested, bro. If he was, he would have gotten his papers. Exactly. So, if throughout the time period, he was at home sitting. Um, <laughs> um, guys, stop talking about Aiden. He wants to play for England. This come directly from him. The last time I checked. Ooh. Simeon said, one Bellingham is... Um, Jude Bellingham. Bellingham. Um, he's 17 and he doesn't play in the same position as Hayden. Oh, oh, oh. What position does Hayden play? Simeon, what position does Hayden play? Defensive central. Jude Bellingham is a defensive central. M most tackles across Europe. For his age. I don't know what you're talking about. Go and check the position that Jude Bellingham plays. Um, only players in hidden position is Anderson, Calvin Phillips, and Declan Rice. And he can't get over none of those three players. And only one of those three players will be playing. And that is Cal um, um, that Declan Rice. Then Henderson. Then Calvin Phillips. Um, JFF needs some phone credit. <laughs> um, Travis said, Casey Palmer shouldn't have been playing. He's total. Hey, Travis, Travis, you need to start beating the players, right? All right, so Travis... Let me see what you have to say about Maria Padin. Because apparently, according to Chavis, we have no good players. According to Chavis, we have no good players, none whatsoever. <laughs> so we're going to move over now to Maria for people. Um, the big man himself, um, <laughs> age 34. And as people say, I'm here people saying that he will be called because he's a part of the core team. So he will be in the team. I believe that is wrong. I be, totally believe that is wrong. Um, so someone said, we need to go for a jump to clock Arsenal. What are they waiting for? <laughs> All right. So Jay said, I saw Messi in Miami. It was like watching soccer guy. Every time he touched the ball, I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I assume I would love to see him. I would love to see him. Travis said Leon Bailey flop today, like him injured. See, you're calling Leon Bailey flop today. Like no, he, he definitely has something against Leon Bailey, believe me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that's what I'm talking about. 
um, Marlon is back. It seems like he sorted sort out his Wi Fi. Marlon, okay. sort out your Wi Fi now. It's loading like three hours. Um, I just used to watch Jer Jeremy and you every week. Out of you playing the youth team, um, before his training, he was maestro on the ball. Um, Wolverine, not Chelsea expans, but um, they need a delay. That's another match day. Sorry, okay, okay, okay. Leon is off. Second, um, second seems to be um, foot injury from Sergeant Tackle. So, um, Marlon, you're watching the game, right? Yeah, one. Um, so, so um, I think it's uh, probably, Leon, probably it's more a precaution. Okay, right, precautionary measures. Well, is that been having? Well, Travis, not really having the the, 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 the um, old time the game has been having it, but it's been okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to look at the next player, Mariapa, and we're talking about a poor player. Here. I don't know what he would consider a flop. Um, he 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 um he basically had made, created um two big chance um he checked this one and the one was just for the goal. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Um, I have no clue what happened here. So let's move on to the next player, people. Um, next player we're going on to is I have no clue what happened. Is a Mariapa people? Let's look at this now. Mariapa is one of the core members of the team. He's one of the core members of the team and someone that people are saying that will be picked and ha must be picked. We're going to look and see how well does he stacks up this season in particular so Mariapa um played a total of um 25 games he had 19 starts in those 25 games and 70 minutes per per game averaging 70 minutes per game um let's see what's happening let's see what's happening 70 minutes per game um let's move over now to his his passing stats and all those type of things and let's see how he ranks and stacks up against other players You dropped off there a bit, Marlon. Are you hearing me, Marlon? Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the internet, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing the military. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so um, he averages 40 touches per 90. Um, zero big chance created, 0 0.1 key, um, key passes. Um, accurate passes per game, 19.6 at 73%. Um, accurate passing is 14.6. Um, at 82 percent and then after passing the opposition of 5.0 at 53 percent um then now you have long balls and all those things. but let's move over to the defensive stuff which i think is what we want to elude, elude to um clean sheets two clean sheets in those games mm, really really that's that's low um interception 1.2 um tackles per game 1.0 uh, possession 1.0.1 1, 0 .1, dribble pass 0 0.6 and that's quite high um, clearances per game 3.5 error leading to a shot one error leading to a goal also one but Mario is having, not having a good season this is this this was not a good season for Mario and I don't think that he'll be proud for this season in particular I think that throughout this season it explains um the reason why he has he ha the, the whole the, team not having a, having a factor. Factor. Why are you saying um 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 Mar Marlon? So JD, are you you're back now? <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 yes. All right, so uh, we're speaking to Maria, but not the best stats. <laughs> I have to be honest, I'm um, not the best stats. Passive stats look good, but the defensive stats are quite poor. Um, I think that has a lot to do with his age. His age is a factor. We have to bear that in mind. I'm looking at his defensive attributes. Um, 57. Um, right there, and uh, when I looked at Ethan Pinnock, Ethan Pinnock was actually like 75. So, defensively, Ethan Pinnock is way, way supersede Mariapa. And we yes. have seen that Mariapa is a core player, so Mariapa is a player that we'll be looking forward to bring in the team because he's a core player. So, what, yeah. what's your take on that? Do, do you think uh, give me the rating and also give me what you think about us moving forward and trying to get this player, even if we should call him because of the core? You core word, the core, the word core being used. You're setting me up over here, man. 
Uh, right now, what, what we're, we're seeing from him, he has a good enough heat map. But as we look at everything that uh, that's going on here, 25 games played, 19 starts with a 70 uh, minutes per game. And then you, you, you clearly said the passing ain't good um, mm -hmm. and stuff. So that's okay. That's okay. We expect that. Um, clean sheet not, too. Not the passing is good, but the defensive stats are, are we worried. Is passing good? Okay, okay, he's passing yeah. good. Um, seventy-three yeah. percent. Yeah. Um. Well, well, every everything that I'm seeing here is just based on his experience. He's just going through the motion, but he's getting yeah. older. So if we can use him as a stopgap, um, um, situation, it would be okay. Just as what I said to you the other day, you brought you bring him on, you bring him to, with the team to help the younger guys to gel. And if he can stop in certain position, you put him in there. But I don't see him as a starter. I don't believe so. You and know. I would give him like a 5.8 or so, not a full six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll give him a five. For, don't beat me, people. That is my opinion. <laughs> don't beat me, people. Even from the few games that I've seen and the few reviews that I've done of him, um, people don't beat me. Do not beat me. <laughs> I'm just a fan. I'm a fan like you guys. Believe me, I'm a fan. I just do a more in-depth analysis of the game. So don't beat me. <laughs> so uh, for me, I'm giving him a five. Not the best season. Definitely, as I said, carrying out the motion. When I saw him today playing, he looks um, lacklustered. Literally, um, Brantford was running rings around them. And he was he ran, ran out of breath like in the first <laughs> 40 minutes. So, um, <laughs> for me, that's a five. And I think that's it for Mario. So, the next player we're going on to is um, Jamal. No, it's West Arden. My bad. My bad. West Arden. He's the next player we'll be going on to. Then we're going on to the superstar that everyone is waiting, is waiting on. Yep. Oh. Run through some of the comments. In the meantime, um, the United Soccer League guys have proven themselves to give them so give them credit. The United Soccer League. Oh, the USL. Really? they proven themselves. How? How have they proven themselves? Watch Watford versus Swansea, like the work rate of Andre Gray. He was positionally, he was positioning himself for the runs, but Watford seemed to have issues with final pass. They don't have a creative element in the team. Randy Viper says, How Arteta not, Arteta not be sacked? <laughs> I'll be doing my preview today, Randy, so you make sure you're on it. A map's overrated, it's done. <laughs> Chavis, you're beating people, you know? Chavis, you're beating people. Chavis is a troublemaker. Chavis beating people, man. Um, we have good players like Andre Blake and Leon Bailey, Jamalo, Andre Gray. We have good players. Goals, win games, and clean sheets. Exactly. Yeah, I do watch that. Um, Patrick Riley, what are, you had you had the joy to watch both Messi and Ronaldo live. It was amazing. Mm, that's great. Um, a little bit after your show, Jay. Okay, 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 all right, good. Maybe, maybe half an hour later than usual. Like, oh. I think it'd be four o'clock my time. Okay, okay. Or three o'clock, three o'clock my time as soon as the last I, Premier League game played. I really can't get the time difference between Jamaica and here, man. Damn, <laughs> yeah. man. Uh, um, I think that time difference, maybe it's, it's about 10 o'clock your time. Uh, 10 o'clock? Yeah. No, it's, ten, what time it is here? It's, it's 10 o'clock your time. Oh no, that would be no, maybe it's about it's ten o'clock my time. It's ten o'clock your time now, right? Yeah, ten a.m. my time now. Okay, okay, yes, because it's five, um, five o'clock here. Okay, yes, okay, so, okay. so I'm getting the time zone. All right, <laughs> pretty. Oh my God, that's that's. All far, right, so people, we won't sp um, stay any longer on the players. Uh, we need to move through the players a bit um, quicker. Um, Joshua Kitsa, this is a great stream. Both hosts are amazing. I had I had to smash the like button. Thank you, Joshua. Um, a lot of respect for that. Real, real out here. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Joshua. Um, really, really appreciate it. So we're going, we're going to look at West, um, West Harding um, at Rottenham um, United. Not the best season. No, this player is a multi-versatile player. You know we have versatile players, but this player is multi-versatile. This man plays left back, right back, um, left winger, um, left full back, left wing back, right wing back. Left arm, um, left side is central defender, right side is central defender. So, West Arden, he has played a significant amount of position in the defensive third table. I'm talking about a player that can play right back, left back, right wing back, left wing back, and also all three defensive um, aspects. 
he's just 24. So he has that is the amount of potential that this one player has. Yes, he needs to final and fine tune his grade because it is not healthy when you have a player playing so much different position because it be, you become a, a jack of all trade and master of none. So it might be a good thing and also as it's bad, it, it, it also has it bad, it's negative to it as well. So we're going to go into his stats. Um, he played a total of 49 games this season. That is a lot for a 24 year old. 46 games this season. That's a lot for a 29 year old, 24 year old. Um, started 41 of those games and minutes per game 81. So it's literally complete in every single game. One of the, one of the key things is that he's not injured. He's, he can't get injured. The man is like a steel. Yep. The man is, yep. The man, the man is like a steel. Um, let's move um, a bit closer to his passing stats. And whoa, his passing stats are relatively low. Um, assists, he has four assists. That's when he, he played in the fullback position. He would go forward and try to get something on, on, on his score sheet. Um, he has 47.5 touches. Big chances created five, which is a lot uh, for a defender. <laughs> for a defender. Yep. Uh, it's surprising me. I don't hear anyone talking about him as as an option for the right back. He's a very good option for the right back position. I'm very good trusted as well. Then I'm why no one back. talks about him? And he's yeah. already here, right? <laughs> yeah, and can get the job done. Yeah. After passing, he has twelve point six at fifty six percent, which is relatively low. I believe that's quite low. Um, after passing his own half three point nine at sixty one percent, quite low as well. Um. Accurate passing opposition half, opposition half is 9.2 at 50%. So these are quite low passing stats. Low passing stats. So according to like Mario, he has very, very high passing stats, but low defensive stats. Now we have a player with low passing stats and high defensive stats. He has seven clean sheets, 1.9 interception per 90, 1.3 tackles per 90 as well. Possession one, 0 0.2, and dribble pass per game, 0 0.5. Clearance is 2.1, um, early into shot one, and early into goal one. So his defensive stats are relatively good and are actually better than his passing stats. And in accordance to Mario, well, his defensive stats are really, really good. One of the reasons I could look at it is you can see the difference in age. So one is in his final stages of his career, where he's taking it easy and calm, playing it safe. And you also have one who's taking chances, who's young, young and up and, coming, up and coming, and he's taking chances when he has possession of the ball. So there's two ways you can look at it. And... He's doing a bit of good, he's doing a good job, but I think he needs to solidify himself as a single position on the pitch. As you guys can see, the, the variety of position that he played, you, you can see on this on, on, on the, 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 the the task bar right there, he plays a right midfield, left midfield, um, defensive central, um, defensive right defender, a variety of position. But for me, this is um, you get a solid, solid seven for me this season because of the amount of roles that he has filled in for this season and what he has done so far. Um, what do you what do you have to say about this player, JD? Um, I I like I like um his versatility. Be honest, and um here stated that um his strengths are no outstanding strengths, obviously because he's all over the pitch. He's just trying to get involved, and as you can see, always oh, his heat map is pretty much scanty. His weaknesses um long long ball, and and passing overall, which you said that early on, but he still managed to get four assists. So that shows you that he's trying he's trying hard. So yeah, I think right. if you give him the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but um what, what, the, the thing about West Harding still or not, um if you compare him with um Mariapa, um rather than plays a basically um a battery and the side the side itself is is, is is a poor championship team, so that's why probably his passing accuracy is a bit low. Cause they don't they don't have the ball most of the time, so that's one thing about it. But he is he, a defender. Defender is very, very sturdy. Um, if you, if you're looking at um candidates out there, you know, um, I think he has a good push for the for the for the right back position. His defensive stats are very very good. He goes forward quite a lot, and he gets himself in dangerous position, but. I think the pass, the good thing about that is defensive stats are good. The passing stuff is something that we can work on. That is something that we can work on. And I do believe that um, it's best to have something that we can work on than something that we can't do anything about. Because if his defensive stats were really, really poor, then no, we couldn't work on him. 
But the mere fact that it's, it's passing, I think that is something that we can work on. And his age, he's young, he's 24, just turned 24. So he has he has sufficient time to work on that. So for me, um, we're starting, I'm giving my starting um, this season a solid, solid seven as well. Um, wh wh um, how would you rate, ra um, rate him, uh, Marlon? Well, I, I definitely put him in that bracket at 7.5 7 because, um, as I said, he's someone who has played at center back, right center back, left back, right back, left back, right back. Mm -hmm. Right, right wing. So, and he has performed in, in the amount of games that he has played, 49 for the season. Yeah. So, it is it, it, sure that he has something, and, and he's not in one of the top championships. And his performance, he has, I, I think he has been one of the better performers for, for Rotterdam. Yeah. Yeah, he has, he has been really, really good. And as I said, because they, they use him so often as a, a stop gap. Because whenever a player would fall injured, it doesn't matter where in the pitch, they can use him because he's so versatile. And as I said, that could be one of the things that affect his game style. Now, people, we're going to go over to the next player, which is um, Jamal Lowe. We're going to look into Jamal Lowe's season and run, run across his season stats because this is a player that I've been oh, on. I've watched so much of his game and... I've, I've taken keen interest on this player in specific because Jamal Lowe has had a very, very good season with um, Swansea City. And a spectacular season with Swansea City. Great form he's in right now. He has done so much for Swansea and literally carried Swansea into the championship playoffs. He brought Swansea into the championship playoffs. Same, same, same thing that Ethan Pinot did, also Ivan Tony, and now Jamal Lowe did it. Um, Liam Moore couldn't make the, the couldn't um brought this team to the championship, and I'm quite sorry about that. Maybe I'll have to do this as a two part show to cover, and it depends on how well we um run this show. But definitely, people, um, we're going to go into Jamalo season and what he has done so far. So, um, as you guys can see, is heat map is heat map. Um, to, Liam Moore, um, Jamalo, 27 years, years of age. Um, prefer foot, right foot. Um, wears a shirt number nine. Um, look at his positioning. He plays a left wing striker, attacking midfield, and also the right wing. Now look at his heat map. Mostly, more you find more in density on the right, the left hand side, where he can cut in on his right hand foot, a right foot, and get those um floaters in the top top of the screen. So you can look now. He's, he played a total of forty six games in the championship. Started forty two out of those forty six. And he minutes per game. He has completed 75 minutes per 90 out of all those games. Team of the week once. He has 14 goals in the championship. 14 goals. Now, one of the things people are going to say is that he is an attacking, he's an attacking winger. Why does why is it that he hasn't scored um provided more um assists? No, he averages four big chances. Is a lot. Jamalo averages four big chances per 90. And I can tell you that is a lot. Now, um, he scores 14 goals, people. That is that is for a winger, scoring 14 goals, hitting double figure in the goal scoring arm sheet. No one can tell me anything. That is that is a successful winger right there. Someone that you want to take to the next level. But we'll see how that one goes. And even that, not, not only that, we saw that when Jamalo came into the Reggae Boy team, he, what he did, he has the, the ability to score goals. It's very, very lethal, people. That is the reason why. He scored goals. And now, goals per game, 0 0.3. Um, shots per game, 1.8, which means that he takes a lot of shots. Um, shots on target, 0 0.8. Almost every every game he plays, he has, he has a shot on target. Big chances, miss nine. That is high, but that tells you that he's getting himself in the goal scoring opportunities. He's getting himself in those positions. Touches, 32.7 um, per 90. Big chances, created four, which means that he's still creating chance. Despite he doesn't have, then those players would have taken those chances. He would have had four assists. Um, key pass is 0 0.5. Accurate pass for, for 90, 12.3 at 69%. He's an attacker, he's a, he's a winger, so you won't find those passes that re relatively high. Accurate pass in his own half, 7.2. Accurate pass in the opposition half, um, 9.5 at 64%. And accurate long balls. Cross is 0 0.2 at 16%, and I think that's a good. So let's move over now to his other stats where these are stats that affect a midfielder. Successful dribble 0 0.9 at 53%. Total duels one 
4.6 at 36 percent which means that it's engaging in a lot of deals round deals one 3.1 at 40 percent and area deals one 1.5 at 30 percent possession loss 12.2 committed two fouls and was fouled 1.4 offside 0 0.8 so for me jamal was one of the players that i've been watching for this entire season and i was so impressed on his growth he has really, really taken his game to the next level. Now, um, Jay, what do you think about Jamalo this season in particular? Um, his skill set um, is next to none. Mm -hmm. I think he's pretty much underrated, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And what he could actually bring to the Jamaican team is completely different because his eye-pressing ability um, and his relentless, his relentlessness um, of pace and power mm -hmm. um, will push teams to go go on different um, sides, like mm -hmm. go on retreat, retreat mode at all times. Yeah, and he's one of those guys that I think should always play if you want to unlock like unlock like a Leon Bailey. Because mm -hmm. keep in mind they would play on different wings. So, because you have to keep and you have to keep an eye on, on him, could unlock um Liam Bailey um doing great things as well. I mm -hmm. think he's a special player, but you wouldn't just use him to unlock Liam Bailey. He might just come in the team and produce more than Liam Bailey because yeah. his energetic style of play, his mobility, as you can see here, he plays like four to five different positions. He's, mm -hmm. he's he's just willing he's a willing player and a willing runner and mm -hmm. guys like those can always change the outcome of a team every single day so yeah. i think um he would be one of the highest rated player for me i would easy well put him up there with um close to um i i would give him eight and a half similar eight to what half? i give um yeah eight and a half overall season yeah because he matched everything everything man everything yeah. this season he really put on a good enough performance for me at least from what i saw yeah um i've been keeping a close tabs on this player because i'm i have been so impressed because i like the story i like his story i really like his story and he's just he's just taking strides he's taking some very very good strides in his career he's taking some very good strides and he's actually a late bloomer i'm not sure if anyone knows he's a late bloomer so it's actually just kicking on to the perfect position that he wants to find himself Mm -hmm. But for me this season, because he did so much for Swansea, he literally, single-handedly, takes Swansea into the championship playoffs. That is what he did. He single-handedly takes um, 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 Swansea into the championship playoffs. I am going to give him for this season, for what he did for Swansea, for how the Swansea fans have spoken to me about him, I'm going to give him a nine. He had a very, very good season. And it, it's an emblem of what he did when you see the team is in the championship and the amount of goals that he has scored, the work rate that he put in for him right now. I hope that when he goes, in, it's difficult because only one team, I am not sure if I want Jamalo and Ivan, I want Jamalo or Ethan Pinnock or Ivan Tony going through. It's a very, very difficult task. <laughs> it's a very, very difficult task. But the thing about I, it is that <laughs> if I. And you, you, you looked at his amount of game, games played. Um, he's ever present. He's ever present. He can't injure. He's, he's never injured. No, the thing about it is that most of our players are always fit. Our Jamaican players are all these guys are like stone. <laughs> really? Like stone. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, but for me, I'm giving them a nine. I'm definitely giving them. I'm. I'm oh, you put him. Really uh, oh, you give him an extra five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All I right. Give him a nine. I'm really. I'm <laughs> but you, you look at when I said eight and a half, you look at me like, oh, that's really I. And then you give him a higher, yeah. higher rating, okay? No, no, I'll just listen to you. I'm, I'm giving Jamalo a nine this season. I have to respect the season. No, the reason why I saw um, Swansea for versus Norwich, and I was listening to despite the commentators being biased, but I was listening to the commentators and they were speaking about oh Jamalo was attacking Norwich down their right hand side, and the right back could not, which is Max Aarons could not keep up with Law. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And Max Aaron, yeah. that we are we're talking about highly. He could not keep up with love. He's struggled. Believe him, the guy is rapid, man. Rapid, man. Yeah, rapid. And because he has that height with his speed, yeah. he's covering he's way more grown. You're yeah, way more grown. My word, man. He, he, this guy is rapid, man. And he, he, his technical ability at the body, he give Max Aaron a hurry time. But that is the reason why I give him an eye. He just stands out. And this season, he, he, he's a late bloomer. He started kicking. 
started to really kick on in, in finding his feet, his, his footing when he was like about 24, 25. But he definitely finds himself right now. So Jamal Lowe, I'm giving Jamal Lowe a nine. Now I'm going to move on to the next player. And that player <laughs> is Jamaica. One of Jamaica's future captain, I believe. Maybe next four years from now. <laughs> Maybe he's in the next four years from now. And he, ha- he has had a good season, but overall... Okay, Leon Moore. Yeah, overall, it <sighs> did not complement the hard work that he put in. And but the reason why I have to give him a high rating, because I'm telling you guys from now, that I'm giving Leon Moore a high rating, despite Leon Moore's team not making themselves in the final, uh, in the final of the play- championship playoff, he did put in a solid, solid performance throughout the season. And if you should look at it, each time Leon Moore is absent, they play poorly. <laughs> yeah, 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 true, true, true. Yeah, yeah his, true. his win rate with the team is very, very high, so we have to respect that. In the meantime, let me go and run through some of the comments. Um, he said, I think Kido Hart should look, I think we should we should look at Kido Hart. I think, well, um, J Ross people are saying contacted, they're using the term contacted, um, more so often than ever. <laughs> As I said, I don't know, um, I still don't wrap my head around the, 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 the word contacted. Patrick said, wow, never realized Harden plays right back. Of course. See, Patrick, this is the reason why we do these type of shows. We don't just come here and talk about players. We give you analytical breakdown. We give you a bit of understanding. We give you what the players are giving out on the pitch. That's what we do. So you can't, you can you can now bring this information to other place, other platform, even when you and your friends are discussing. You can say, we could we could use this player here. We could play that player because you are now here. You are giving you facts of what the player does. That is the importance of analytical breakdown. That's how you get to find out the players and what they can do. So that, that's that's what we do, Patrick. We give you guys um to let you guys know what's happening. And um, Fiona said Jamalu a real killer. <laughs> yes, he is. Lincoln, Lincoln fans. Oh, Lincoln. No, I'm not dropping the link in the comment section, Lincoln. Um, oh, link me on Twitter. Link me on Twitter and I'll send you the link. But we still have a, 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 a fairly... How should I put it now? Um, the time period. Guys, please smash the like button. Remember to smash the like button, people. Remember to smash the like button. Um, we're going over to the next player. And I think he's possibly one of our future captains. Um everyone has spoken to about it about this player in specific they they they, they are they're speaking about him they're spoken about him highly um even players as well are spoken about him highly and that's Leah Moore we're gonna see how well his 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 season stacked up this time around um Michael H Reason well everybody we every day we get up talking about how oh, these players play for Jamaica please tell me are these guys in communication with those party shop guys, the JFF. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> you're trying to get us in trouble, man. You're calling JFF party shop? <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you're calling JFF party shop? We'll see about that. Uh, Warren said, Wait, Low is a good player. Um, let me see. We're going we're gonna to run to Liam Moore. And then we're going to touch on the final player, which is um, the thing is Ivan Tony. We're just going to run through his season and show you guys, analyze his season. I know people are going to say, why we are talking about people, we still have to talk about him. We speak about every other player that, 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 is, that has been contacted and there's no issue. But as soon as we touch Ivan Tony, everyone is lashing out. <laughs> um, Christmas said he was a PE teacher, a very talented player from Portsmouth. Um, goal score, um, score goals at Portsmouth. Also, he's going to make it Premier League. He's going to be a massive player for from Jamaica. Um, Christmas said, "Big up military and JD. Big up Christmas. Thank you for passing through." So we're big up our, Christmas. We're looking at our, looking at our future captain, people. Twenty-eight years old. Um, he has another work up in him in his foot. Yeah, by uh, twenty-two. Yeah, that's really good. I'm um, thirty-two years old for a defender experience material. Um, the reason why I want to look at this of this player is because of the importance that he played for the Reading Football Club. Every time when he's not in the team, they lose a game. When he's in the team, they had a win or a draw. So he has been he has an, had a significant time period. I have to look at him as well. Uh 
played 32 games, started 31 of those. Uh, minutes per game, 87. Featured in team of the week twice. No goals. Yeah, we'll look into that. He has one assist. Total touches, 60 points, 7 touches per 90. Um, key passes, 0 0.2. Accurate pass per game, 43.3 at 84%. Accurate pass in his own half, 36.9 at 92%. Now, look at his passing stats. These, these passing stats are the best that I've covered so far. Even better than Ethan Pino. Eve, but just slightly though, slightly. But his way is the best we have covered so far. Second in passing starts will be Ethan Pino for the defenders. Um, accurate pass in opposition are 55.5. Accurate long balls, 43 um, one percent. And then now, chip pass is 41. Let's move over to his defensive stats, people. This is what I'm talking about. He has, let me show you, 32 starts. And has 11 clean sheets. 11 clean sheets. 11 people. Um, even though um, Ethan Pinnock has turned out at 14. So can you combine 11 clean sheets with 14 clean sheets? What kind of defense do you have right here? Tell me, people. I will be speaking about these two guys as a defensive pairing for so long. 11 clean sheets and 14 clean sheets put in together. That's 25 clean sheets for Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> That's 25 clean sheets for Jamaica. So um, 11 clean sheets, interception 0 0.9, tackles per 90, um, 0 0.7. Um, dual pass 0 0.2, really, really low. Um, it's quick, so that is the reason why no one really even attempt to try dual passing. Um, clearance per game 3.5, penalty goal only one. So, so people, that is it. And um, Leah Moore stats. And for me personally, his, his team in itself did not make it to the championship playoff, they are they are in comfortable position on the table. But for me, I am giving Leah Moore an eight out of ten. For performances for his team. The reason why I'm giving it, despite his team in general did not put in the best performance, is how crucial he was for the team and how important the, the manager had. He, he received an injury on Monday, and would you believe that Friday he's playing? The manager forced to play Friday. So can you imagine the imagine amount of injection, injection that he would have gotten for him to play on Friday? I'm telling people, we have a good player in our hands. What do you think about him um, um, so that we can move on to the next player, Jamie? Um, it's just quick and simple. He, he's just elite, you know. He's just an elite type of defender. And what what's surprising here when you look at his heat map, it's mm -hmm. clearly over the left-handed side. Yeah. So that shows you he, he actually could play over there relatively good. Um, mm -hmm. I did not hear. Um, hear most people talk about that. People kept talking about okay, we're gonna put Pinnock over here and stuff because um we want to put um we we would use Pinnock. And um, low because you have to put low over the right hand side, but no, you realize that if Pinnock is injured, um, more can play over there easily. So that's mm -hmm. why, as you said, it's good to always look on these stats so you can learn a, th a few things. Mm -hmm. And he played what 32 games, started 31, um, yeah. 18, um, seven minutes, ever, pre ever present, ever, ever present. present. And he's a next guy, okay, very good. Look at what mm -hmm. we are seeing now. You you real you realize that we keep on having these midfielders pushing up in defense in, in mm -hmm. defensive central areas. So both of these guys, um Pinnock and Moore, Play can press. literally help out the, the, the defender the, the defensive central and and let them push up even further because yeah, they're they that press. strong in yeah in their areas. And that's why I, I'm glad that we saw the, the heat map today. He's elite, man, elite. And he had an okay season. But the only reason I, I'm going to take away some points from him is the fact that he didn't play so much game. Because I strongly believe if he played 10 more extra game, they would have been in the playoff at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has suffered, he has suffered quite a few injuries. Yeah. Yes, really. So uh, he played... Okay, okay. Go, go, go on, go on. Um, he had an injury on yeah, he had a knock um, early off in the, in, the, in, the mid, in the mid part of the season. I mean, um, yes, yes, what, I know, I know. So he, I think, I think he missed out like around five or six games there. No more than that. He missed, yeah, yeah. He missed overall. I think he missed overall like, like around um, fifteen, four, fourteen, fourteen uh, games. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, fourteen, they fourteen, forty-six. Fourteen games. Yeah. Fourteen. So they play. He missed around fourteen games for this. But those games are like in with one one. But he got a major injury. He got a major injury like a few. Um, a few months ago, but I saw that the moment he, he was even declared fully fit, and the manager just shoved him in, just throw him inside the team right away because he was like, We can't depend any further, <laughs> we can't depend any further. And he's a captain, people. 
Is it captain? So you can imagine that you're, 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 Remember, you're, you're, you're a ship without a captain. You're sailing to nowhere. So it, when it, the season started, continue, continue. Yeah, but when the season started, remember, Redding, yeah, when the season started, remember, Reading was it was it, um was the top team in the, the championship. Yeah, for the first two months, and, and, and he was leading he, line. I think he got injured. Um, yeah, November. he got injured, and this guy, um, Joshua, yeah, up to up, up, up to December, they were still around same way. Mm -hmm. I, I think they were like um around 12, 14 games unbeaten. So that's 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 where they start um they, they start to go back a bit, but. He, he has done well, and and as as you say from from the heat match, he basically plays as a left centre back. So that's why I, mm -hmm. I told her he and Low will be my pairing, mm -hmm. basically, as he plays more than left side. As the other guy is, is, is a, um, typically an old right foot centre back, so that's why he plays on that. Because um, what 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 you get from Liam more, he's more flexible. As you said, he's, he's a multi talented player who can switch around the, 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 anywhere at the back he can play. That's all, that's all, low. All right, so <laughs> let me run through some of the comments before we move on to the next player. Let me see. Um, Andre Williams said, Bailey hurts. Yeah, well, let's hope it's not nothing serious because that would be very, very bad. It is reported that JFF are currently in communication with Killer Taylor Art, but his passport won't be ready. Reported by who? By JFF. Um, Tony Bruce, I'm, I'm sure, okay, Phil John, I'm quite sure you might see it in the, in the, um, the, the link, the, the, the title. Um, Andy said, I guarantee the Jamal who is going to get bought by an EPL or top tier team from another league and see what that he has done in the championship. They will attain his high service at a bargain. One thing I do know is that the wingers in the championship are very, very good. The wingers in the championship are very, very good. We're talking about that dense environment and a very aggressive style of play for you to have some skillful wingers. They are very, very good. Dre anywhere the sports said, Roy Simpson to be um, specific. Roy Simpson reported it. Um, do you guys know if JF has considered um contacted Redman as yet? I don't know. The last time Redman said he was he hadn't spoken to anyone. That's what that's what came from Redman's mouth. Um, CEO said, you, do you guys think that Bob Marley's daughter should take over the recruiting and scouting for the Jamaican Football Federation because she's doing such a good job with the female squad? Um, remember now, um, for everyone, they have to take a liking to something. She might take a liking to the female squad, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she literally do a good job with the male. You'd be surprised that some average, simple little person, maybe don't even have background football knowledge, um, can do a, a great job. But in general, you have to have those criteria to know what football is about. And normally, for a recruiter, I would love to use someone who has actually played football, even at a high level, so he knows what it takes, not only to see a player and say the player can play football, but the mentality, because that is where we're lacking in football these days, the mentality. Not just someone who thinks he knows about football, like, like myself. I couldn't do recruiting, <laughs> despite I know football. The only thing I can do to do... Please start some gathering to you. Gather these stats together and build a, a, a dossier on these players. Build dossiers on these players and use that to say, this is this is what I have on the player. And then, no, try to use the ITIS. But no, that would be different from a perspective or analytical element of a, a member of who have been playing for. Because they know, what, they know what it takes. They know situations. They know circumstances that cover these things. So I think... Is that anyone just can do get up and do a recruiting job? What do you think about that, JD? Um, rec recruiting jobs are. It all depends on your team because even the recru recruiter do have a mm -hmm. team around them, and as he said, he's uh, she's a daughter of Bob Marley, so that that means she's gonna get some good enough people to back mm -hmm. her. So it 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 might could um might translate okay. I think it might mm -hmm. because. What they're doing now, I think anything a um, little bit more informative and um, a little bit more driven would have been better than anything now, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. So she she have a low bar to actually cross. So <laughs> she she could might she I, I I think she would do a, a better job. I I think so. 
transparency is the key to what she does. She, she would be more transparent. That is one good thing. Yeah. You're sure of that? She would be more transparent. So I think she would do a better job now. Yeah, she, she let people know, this is what I'm working on. And let's see how we can go. It does mean that it, it will come through. But she let you know, this is the project that I'm working on. Um, Chris Smith said, guys, watch about the Saudi Arabia game. The team, um, the team really need the help. It's really good that they get more Antinok in the back line. And the back line really look disorganized in the Saudi Arabia game. Mm, that's a big, um, mm, good, that's some good points. Got to, got to run respect, JD and military. What? Wait, Warren. Balak said she, she could be director of marketing for both man and female team, not scouting. Mm, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah, but um, when scouting come in, I want to put up a scouting. If you're going for marketing and getting sponsorship, yes. Because mm -hmm. as you know, the, the, the Marley name says a lot. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So when it comes to scouting, because even the female players, she didn't scout them. The players were scouted by the coaching says Bosley. Remember, mm -hmm. Bosley yeah. is an English right. Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. So he's the one who basically um, does his networking in his scouting, his players and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, people, let me be honest. There's a lot more Jamaican players in the championship that I could have covered. But I am covering the most highlighted one. Um, definitely. So the final play that we're going on to is the man of the championship, the championship play of the year, the goal scored record breaker, the Jamaican bloodline. Is Marlon, is St. Vincent, right? Is St. Vincent is, 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 is yeah, on the side yeah, of the yeah, 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 Vincent. Yeah. Oh, good. I that means I was actually correct. So the St. Vincent, the Jamaican, <laughs> the bloodline, the strong bloodline, the mix of the Caribbean bloodline. So let's see. The man himself, I'm talking about people, J Jamaica now running riots across. Hopefully, Leon Bill is okay. Pray for that. But let's let's go to the record breaker. This, uh, this is a player that I've, I've been looking at for such a long time. Gady can tell about that. Even before yep. I started to speak about Jamaica. <laughs> yep. Because he was linked, he was heavily linked to coming to Arsenal Football Club. And I was saying that because he's Jamaican, if you come to Arsenal Football Club, and he even represents Jamaica, you'd, you'd be my favorite player of all time. You'd definitely be my favorite player of all time. Just know that. Even over, even over, Henry, which is a club legend. But guess what? I'm talking about my country. My country comes first. <laughs> but anyways, let's move into the player. A spectacular season. One of the best seasons of a debutant. One of the best debutant seasons. Man, in his first season in the championship, Smash the goal scoring record, and it doesn't matter what people want to say. Um, <laughs> I'll be doing another review on other players. The other review would be I'll, I'll, I'll slate that at, at a different time. We'll work on that, but you guys, I'll put it out early and you guys can see it because we have more. But this time around, this is the final person we'll, we'll be speaking about, which is Ivan Tony. Um, military Tony, Ivan military Tony. Ivan Military Guna told him anything on one it. This is my player, someone I always talk about. And it will not be good for me to talk about all the other players and not talk about Ivan Tony. I have been, I'm watching lyrically about him before I get into his stats. <laughs> 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 because it's my player. So people, um total games played 45, um started 44, ever present, and that is what we're talking about. He knows Jerry, all the players. Mm -hmm. All the players that we have been covered so far. Notice the amount of games that they have played. Yep, 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 yep. Facts, well, facts. So their parents, even if they've been born in Jamaica, their parents, the Dashina and Yaman, Banana and Coco, oh. they transferred. <laughs> 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 they transferred genetically. The Dashina, Yaman, the Coco, the Banana. The oh my God, genetically. Oh God, yeah. good luck. They transferred to them. That is the reason why these guys are, they can't, in, they can't get injured. Doing well. So, um, team of the week nine times. He has featured yeah. team of the week nine times, people nine times. Yeah. Um, that's goals, that's people. mad, man. The magical number thirty-one goals, people. The magical number thirty-one goals. Um, scoring frequency one hundred and twenty-five minutes. So, every one and a half game, he literally scored for goal. Um, goals per game zero point seven. Um, shots per game three point zero. So he averages three point zero. That is a lot of shot, people. Um, shots on target. So every game he has basically one and a half shots on target. Um, and big misses, big chance misses, 10. That's a lot. Can you imagine if he had those 10? But anyways, the, the players that scored the most goals are likely the players that missed the most chances. Check right across the most elite strikers 
they missed the most chances. Let's move over now to his passing. Should I look into his passing stats? Hey, what I'm going to do. He has 10 assists. <laughs> That is a goal contribution of 41. Goal contribution in, in 45 games, people. 41. The man are contributing but, every game. Yes, every but game. His, his weaknesses but, are actually ball control and tossing. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so even Makiro, you want to pick up for him? <laughs> I'm trying yeah, to, but they think, they boss. They think. Yeah, dating boss. <laughs> I mean, come on, don't kill me, bro. <laughs> um, so despite his weaknesses, bass, ball control and passes, he, he um he has key passes, averages a, 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 one key passes per ninety. So he's still getting something around here. <laughs> he's still getting something around here. <laughs> um, so um um. Anyways, I don't want. We don't need to look at those stats. Let's, let's talk about the thirty one goals and the forty assists. <laughs> um. But people, as I'm talking about, this is a player that I said he has one of the best debuts for a player in a championship, breaking a record, taking his team into the in, into the championship playoff. And I do think that it would be very very difficult. I can see Swansea and uh, Brentford going to the finals in the playoffs. I I'm telling you guys from now. I don't I I won't say it because. I won't say it and then next thing I'll see someone else do it. Anyway, let's forget about that. <laughs> That's the world that we're living right now. Jenny, I've said not enough about the player. People are in the mm -hmm. comments section talking about genetics and all the things that I've said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what do you have to say about um, Ivan Tony? Um, I said it over and over. The guy is a very much um, talented guy that um, he tried his best to stay centrally. So if you're going to use him as a striker or a supporting striker, he will do a massively good job as he shows here his strength, his positioning, finishing, penalty taking. So mm -hmm. clearly, he will be effective in and around the 18-yard box. Oh, and it shows that he shows that he will come deep to pick up the ball mm -hmm. and do his work. It's just the wing areas he tried to avoid. I don't know <laughs> or sure if it's due to the fact that the system that they do play yeah, so we, yeah, I have to see him in a different system before I can decide that, okay, he has um, the presence out there. But because his, his natural problem is passing and ball control, I seem to believe that it's not by mistake. It's more by design that he's playing centrally. Yeah, you get yeah. me? Close, that's yeah, so, yes, but over time, maybe he will expand his areas to be more flamboyant out on the wings, and that will help him even more. So if he's not doing those things and he's so elite... Imagine when he adds that to his game. He's going to be pretty much impressive. And that's why I said this guy can play for England. He can play for England. I think next season, he's going to shock a lot of people. A lot of people. He's going to be even better. Why do you have to mention England? Come on, bro. Come on. Bro, you're but, trying to hurt not me. not saying he has that ability to play for England because people was actually doubting at the start of the stream that he might can't play for England. But if he chose Jamaica, um, that oh even word. shows how good he is, like how good and how naturally, no, a good person he is, because he has the capability to play for England, then he comes for Jamaica. It yeah. It's going to be big time. It's going to be big time. Yeah, Marlon, what do you have to say about yeah, but, um, You know, all right, guess what? He's a person who set up, a lot of person with, with, um, saying that um, with Ali Watkins moving on to Aston Villa. Um, who will feel the, the shoes, right? As I said, Ivan Tony, um, is, is, the, the size already for the, from the past two seasons. Um, the goals were coming in. As as I said, um, he and Clark Harris, um, Clark Harris, they are person who comes with goal. Yeah. So um, basically, he be he, he, he be in the Premiership next year, next season. Whether it's gonna be with West Ham, with Everton. Um, Crystal Palace or Arsenal, he's gonna be in the Premiership. So, are his own team? Are his own team? You forgot his team. It has a chance to qualify. I think. I think. Yeah, I, think I, I know they do, but I just, I, I just have a feeling they're gonna fall short. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're okay, gonna sell. Okay. They're gonna sell. The, the, they're gonna sell because it's coming with big money. Arsenal up at thirty-five. Arsenal will it up at thirty-five. That, that's that, that's that, that's the price. Of, that's the price of Brentford has as, as placed on him thirty-five million. So um, but as I said still. The, the championship player uh, uh, is, is going to be um, basically th those four teams. You look at a, a, a Bournemouth playing Brentford, right? Um, third against six. It's going to be a big matchup because this Bournemouth team, you're talking about a team who want to go back to the Premiership. Yeah. Then yeah. there's a Barnsley with Swansea. And this Barnsley, this Barnsley team, believe me, 
they come from nowhere with addition in January and they got themselves in the playoff. Right? I, 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 I want to see the Jamaicans in the Premiership, but this team, for some reason, from where they're coming from, I just have a feeling that they're the dark horse to go. I, 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 okay. I want to see Pinnock. I, I, I want to see Pinnock. I want to see Lowe, uh, uh, Tony, uh, Rico Henry. I want to see these guys here, but for some, in, some, some reason, this was the team. I'm not taking my finger off them. Yeah, but um, that, that's my pick. That's my pick. My pick to go, Amala. That's a team I do cover. If you don't know, <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's Amala out of ten. Where do you rank Ivan Tony? Season? Well, basically, you get the ten. Um, as, as I said, his, his weakness are are on the flanks. Um, so he's a he's a basically call him an old fashioned number nine. Someone yeah. who stays in the yeah. box. You don't have to go wide. That's that that's where you get the difference between him and uh, um a Mikel Antonio, because mm -hmm. Antonio. Because he was a winger before, he has a tendency to go out on the wing sometimes, and that's when that's when he he, he loses sometimes and, and get injured. Yeah, yeah. He, he 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 tried to build the use the hold of play, so sometimes he get mm -hmm. caught out on the flanks, and that's when he have to put more put more work on, on, on those hamstring. All right, look look at this guy. Um, for a striker, we know that a striker, the older the striker gets, is the more clinical they become, right? With Ivan Tony being so clinical right now at age 25, I can see Ivan Tony um, going up to a bigger team and whilst going up in age, becoming more and more clinical for every different level that he takes. Because a player like um, Vardy, he came from down in, the, in the League One. Le League One, I'm sure um, Lester City took, took him from League One at, at yeah, that yeah, same yeah. age. And then but, now look at what he's doing. So these are small things that I'm looking at. Yeah, but, as, I said, as I said, the, the, the comparison is here, but when, when you look at it, um, when it comes to the English um, point of view, mm -hmm. Marcus Rashford in 23. Yeah. Right? There's a Mesa, Mesa Green who's the same way, 19. Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin, Calvert -Lewin at 20, 24. 20, 20, 20, yeah, same age. So that's the thing about it. Um, as I said, you, you have a part in front of him. Yeah, well, uh, all is there. But uh, Ali Watkins is probably probably fifth or sixth in, in the picking. I don't know. But you look yeah. at it. Um, there's a Patrick Bamford the same way there. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. There's yes, also Callum well. Wilson. There's also Callum Wilson mm -hmm. back from India again. Ince. There's a Danny Ings. It's tough. There's and, a Danny Ings. And then no, the main man himself, Harry Clark. Harry Kane. Kane. Harry Kane is here. And look at it now. There's a player in the championship that plays a Blackburn called Adam Armstrong. Armstrong. Woo! This guy <laughs> is better to get to the English team than, than, than Tony. It's a guy who comes straight to the English doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I, he's a, a full bred Englishman. Yeah. So yeah. You, you, you have to look at him. Yes, yes, as you know, he's an English born player. Um, he has Jamaica and St. Vincent close to his heart because I was. Uh, I was um, he was on Instagram the other day. We were talking about Saint Vincent, the, the volcano, and everything. Yeah, and he mentioned, like, yeah. So, he, he, I, I just see he has the Caribbean close to his heart. But if the guy said, um, fried dumpling, bro, it's fried dumpling. Man says fried dumpling. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk yeah, about bread. Our loaf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the, 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 the Jamaican culture plays, plays a big part. I, I think this is all of these players still. Um, when they talk, they talk about the ox tail, the jerk chicken, and stuff. I think so. But for the football standpoint, still. I love to get him to see, but I think um where the strikers are, where we are strikers right now with um Anthony and Roof, um Nicholson, Andre Gray, Jamal Law, right? He's poor work. So he's he he will be a big he will be a big impact player. See, but my thing about it, um we are stuck for strikers there. Where I want to see um right now, if we get him, we get him. For me, I'm not really gonna put my head on black and say if we get him, we get him. Yes, he's quality, but we also have quality players coming in as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. how do you rank his, his season? Well, as prefer, uh, performance, um basically uh, individual performance, I'll give him a ten. Yeah, yeah. 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 But if um, the team is the team is the team is in the playoffs, championship playoffs. Yeah. So you have, so, he did well for himself and he did well for the team. Yeah, he was probably three games, three games away from the premiership. Yeah. Um, so, JD, um, what mm -hmm. was your. Um, the maximum, maximum. Uh, the maximum, maximum. Well, 
I'm giving him, since you guys are giving him 10, I'm giving him 11. <laughs> Everyone okay. is giving, giving him 10. I have to step it up a bit, you know, because I'm a fanboy, so. <laughs> I'm a fanboy, so I have to step it up a bit. So, um, Ivan Tony, the last person will be covering people. Um, let me run through some of the comments. Let me run through some of the comments. Um, Kali, um, Birchall, Birchall said, um, Antonio, Antonio up top for the regular boys. Balaki said, at this point, Jamaica don't necessarily need um, Ivan Tony's service, but it would be good to see him the regular boy colors, of course. Yeah, that's something I'm saying. Mi um, military, if Ivan Tony changes mind and plays for England, how are you going to do? Run with. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Joshua said, we do have, um, Bertha said, um, natural born finisher. I hope I'm pronouncing that name, but Kelly, or Kelly, military got some weakness. Y yeah, definitely. Um, World Cup is next year. Tony will have this, have this, have to be scoring a lot of goals to be considered and time to adapt 50, 50. True. England chop and change. If he wants the regular number nine spot, choose Jamaica. And, and if Brentford don't, don't qualify for my team, Everton are monitoring him. Ooh. So you're Everton fan, Kelly. <laughs> um, Jared, Jared Sports said, Tony wants to play in Europe. He's not going to Arsenal. Come, bro, no pressure. No pressure me, sir. Guys are pressuring me like that. Antonio experience in the number of positions had and a high upper level higher level has been played in the EPL for numerous years. At the moment he has more to offer, but the long run no. So definitely Ivan Tony is a long run player. Tony has more for the future, maybe a better career than Antonio. Will Ivan gel with the team? We'll see that it's important to get in as early as possible. Antonio is hundred percent Jamaican. He will get with the team, no problem. Donovan Taylor said that. All right, so um, one more away from my boys moving up to third. That's Jay with that. <laughs> All right, so people, um, we have the panel. We have JD. Please remember to subscribe to his channel. We also have Marlon here. You can go over to his Instagram account. Um, it's Marlon um, Nelson. You can check them out. And also, people, please remember to subscribe. And also, hit the like button. Don't go without smashing the like button. And for this time, for closing of the show, please remember, people, um, read the articles that are coming out. You don't necessarily have to take all your information. I'm not saying only mine alone, but you don't have to take what I am saying for it. There's articles, everything is being published. Um, so you guys can go and read for yourself. Definitely, you know better right there. Thank you very much for everyone who tuned in. And thank you to the panel, um, JD and Marlon, for joining me. I love it. Keep safe and smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Military Guna TV, and I am out.